fucking with us in these YouTube streets. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for <laughs> What's going on? Hell yeah. It's funny because that song is like 10 seconds long or something like that. He totally made a whole beat out of that shit. It's crazy. Oh yeah, that little excerpt. Yeah, mm-hmm. that was dope. That Ain't is... nobody got time for that. I remember when they first came out. Remember that? When yeah. That, when that little um, clip first came out? Yeah. Everybody was using it. That was good. Yeah, yeah. I remember I heard this before. I was like, and Miss Parker, I was like playing. I'm like, Man, you better let me hope. Man, where where'd you find that? And then she sent me a, <laughs> need that song. Let's say what up to everybody real quick in the chat. What up, Auntie M, Just Troy, though. We got Linda Cinnabon, La Senorita, um, Tiny Dancer, uh, Mandy M, Oda May, Mid New York Goddess, <laughs> uh, Beans, hey, Just a Lurker. What up, what up? Holla Fala, got Nightmare, what up? Um uh we got I already said tiny dancer, uh Doug Kitty, Michelle, hello, Broccoli Monster, people Thulu. People Thulu, I think it was like the first person in the chat. We got Gucci Gang, Gamer Girl, hello. Uh let me see, got Mel in your mouth, Sam oh Sammy G, Future Dead Camper, mm-hmm. Barrel, what up, Barrel? Uh <laughs> the hood pussy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shit you know what i gotta play now damn it i did dabble <laughs> in um the hood pussy for quite some time so <laughs> Mid- ms monster sydney Hi. oh that's your hor- was it horatica <laughs> that, that, that's cool they uh let me see ohio girl uh oh now damn now stream elements is talking finally what up uh who's what up everybody 
Um, if I miss anybody, I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't even have it on live chat. My bad. Hold on, let me fix that. Well, if I miss shame. anybody, I'm sorry. Uh, shame. Well, if you're mad at me, you could just hotel parking. You can yell that to <laughs> me. Uh, what up, uh, Wu Tang Clam? Um, so as you read, our girl is back. We we knew you couldn't stay away. All of you cows are never do. This. They never do. They always come back. They always come back. But before we get into the nitty gritty, we're gonna we're gonna kind of get into the videos that preceded the ultimate one, of course. So in the first video, because we didn't go over this, because I, you know, I'm not one of those types that I'm gonna do a whole, you know, ninety uh ninety minute stream of a, like a three minute video like some people do. <laughs> uh, but we're gonna go through those. That's that's why sometimes I like to wait, you know. Um, yeah. So, um, uh, and y'all, y'all, the, y'all, the early ones, y'all, y'all, the real ones, the early ones. That's right now. Hit that like button for me, please. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, you know. Uh, yeah, don't be trifling. Hit it. Hey. Anyways, mm. somebody bought Rev a pizza. I don't know if we'll watch this whole thing, but when I saw this video here, hold on. The spicy pizza? <laughs> I hate it. Oh, huh? Hold on, uh, that's a whole baby we had now, sir. Oh, 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 nine months. Stuff's been a minute, nine months. Thank hey. you. Oh, snap. Oh shit, uh, Nightmare been a man for 21 months since you did acknowledge me, your beard is patchy. I did acknowledge you, <laughs> motherfucker. What you talking about? I said, didn't I say his name? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. So, well, nobody bought him. Actually, if you look at that, it looks like a pizza. It looks like a, hold on, let me, let's play that one more time. <laughs> Nightmare said no. <laughs> I did. Uh, is your face itchy? You know, I'm past the itchy stage. Um, it's just now that I got hairs that ain't that haven't been there before, so it's get some getting used to that. But that looks like a pizza, probably from like a local place or whatever. Yeah, it looks um, like from like a pizzeria. Yeah, yeah. So let's hear. Not it. like a chain pizza or nothing. Nah, so let's. I'm gonna speed him up, of course. Let's do one point three five. I'm not. We probably won't watch this whole thing. So here we go. Oh, thank you, Wild Girl. I'm gonna cut it, y'all. Y'all gonna see me out here live one day and just gonna be, ball, gonna be a ball face again. It's too damn um, hot. It's too hot. That's uh, it, it is. y'all see how this dark. This is like the worst time for you to decide to do this. I just I just didn't shave. That's all it was. But yeah. um, y'all see the hair on my face is black. You know, so I get that sun just be burning me up. Yeah, so I gotta, you gotta cut. Yeah, wait till the winter. Yeah. Oh, huh? Is it stay on? <laughs> right there. Ted Teddy Bear rules. So Teddy Bear rules. I think it's Teddy Bear rules fifty five. Bought him pizza. So, oh, okay, that's who I knew so they've been quiet for I don't know a couple months, right? If I'm correct, and um, for this mm-hmm. guy, uh, yeah. for this oh, really, uh, uh, okay, I'm gonna this is this is the last time that I, after this, right. I'm going to start yeeting you, motherfuckers, okay? Uh, gray beard, I got some grays on the side, they're like like five hairs a piece on each side. But uh, thank you, Sunshine, for two dollars. I don't even know if it's gonna read it. It updated. I logged in and out, and I don't know if it's gonna read it. So we'll see. Um, so this this goosey goosey Gandhi thinks it is this channel associated with Dragnaut and the Geek Room. Do you see no, Dragnaut or the Geek Room on here? Five dollars. <laughs> I make whatever pizza with ghost chili hot sauce instead of pizza sauce and watch him suffer. <laughs> that, I, w- I please please uh, please send Sit him that. Okay, it's reading. Star. Thank you. Super chatted two dollars. Gray Bush. Gray Bush, <laughs> y'all nasty. Thank you for the, thank you for the, uh, the donos, Super guys. Oh, Miss Pickles. Cents. Beard looking fire. Oh, Boom. thank fire. you, thank you. Yeah, it's too hot though. My wife likes it now. Now she's like, I like it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, like, I'm gonna cut it now. <laughs> no, no, no. It is, it's it's really hot though. It's really fucking hot. So I'm gonna be cutting it. But thank y'all, thank y'all. Um, uh, but no, uh. That's a dumb question. Uh, am I cool with the geek room? Yes. You know. You know what? Yeah. Have a nice day. I don't, I don't get the question. Yeah. Have a nice day. Anyways, fucking derailing my stream and asking me stupid motherfucking questions. Anyways, let's get back to this. Um, you get this right here. If y'all, if y'all see any more people asking stupid questions, give them a warning. Tiny, Paula, Nightmare, you give them a warning. And if they continue, you can just cut them because I'm not answering stupid questions about drag. Now, if is, do you see drag on my channel? 
You know, I've had Frank and Billy on my channel before, but do you see it? Do you see any of the people on my channel? We're not, their names aren't in the title. Let's move on. Um, Oh, thank you, Hoos. Leave my chin alone, Welcome damn it. Team got five o'clock shadow with TP specs. <laughs> Fuck you and thank you at the same time. Anyways, <laughs> Teddy... <With> TP specs. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, anyways, Teddy Bear rules uh, as a, uh, I think he's a streamer that's that's associated with the the other. I don't know that the I don't know if to call him the other side of Shanny reaction. Uh, those yeah, folks, okay. and so he yeah. bought him a pizza, which they're having a little oh, infighting okay. thing right now, which is funny. Anyways, are you are you associated with a yard stealer? Yes, yes, uh, yes, we are. Me and Nova are definitely uh, associated with a yard stealer. Teddy bear. Oh, bye, cool. sunshine. You know well, I'm Watch the you know replay. Why. Oh, it is sunshine. Look at that. That right there is a cheeseburger pizza. <laughs> but I got something to talk to you about today, folks. I think he got this in secret because it looks like he has this up on a tripod because it's not moving. Yeah. So they probably hit him up on the corner and was like, yo, we're going to get you a piece. Like, shh, yo, tell him to leave it at the door. She's still sleeping or something. Shanny's up in the bed. Who was that? Oh, that was somebody That was somebody trying to sell us something. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. What was that? No, but don't worry. It was a newspaper guy. Don't worry about it. Yo, this is cheeseburger pizza. Who's on the board? Oh, Super who's again? Wait, you're not Drag? No. Is you Yato? Uh... Uh, I mean, me and Drag have matching hairlines. But that's about it. You know what I'm saying? But uh, <laughs> that's I mean. and uh, Yato, no, Yato's hairline is too nice to be mine. So you know, he got way more gray hair than I do. That's for sure. Call me old. Yeah, Yato does. <laughs> the Reverend Dude. Now, I might be off of the internet. And that's the truth. I'm off of the social medias, but that doesn't mean I don't hear things. Oh, Jr. Yes. Uh, no, this was I think a week or two ago. But the next two videos were within a few days. So the next red video he did like a day or two ago, and the Shanny video I think came out yesterday. I would pay BGTV to wear Drag's outfit. I mean, all, what is his outfit? I'll just have to take my hat off and uh, my shirt off and, and, off. and say yeah. interesting. <laughs> That, that's a drag out. Oh, so you want me to take my shirt off? Got you. That's what you mean. Yes, yes, exactly. Duh. Oh, naked. <laughs> no, I'm, <laughs> I'm not gonna have a. I'm not gonna have uh, just just uh, was it nakedness on the chair? I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> and I heard something about this individual by the name of Teddy. No hate if you like nakedness on your chair. Though. Bear. I mean, uh, uh, um, Nova's naked right now. Stang dollar super chatted two dollars. <laughs> my favorite viewer <laughs> reviewing Shani again. Tell nobody. Yeah, you know, oh, I'm sorry. Nova's naked, y'all. Yeah. Her chair yeah, said. Show me your asshole. You said it twice. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's stinked up. <laughs> Anywho, let me stop fucking. We talking to him. I'm going to get that complaining. Y'all talk too much. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong buttons and shit. 55 on YouTube. I've heard the stories. I've heard about the carries of the world. And we have a man in Teddy Bear 55 that I could tell you I'd get in the ring with him any day. Because I know we'd have my back. You know why? Because this man is standing up for truth. He's standing up for calling out the bullies for doing the bully cyber demon stuff. I'm going to tell you that right now. And I would Okay, you probably don't know what the fuck is going on right now, dude. Mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, Lynn says she wants you to turn that camera on so she can see. What up, Cookie Pop? <laughs> um <laughs> Then we're going to get BGTV's channel. Yeah, right? Nova has humongous <laughs> breasts. They're humongous. <laughs> She's laughing because it's, it's true. <laughs> um, but what up, y'all? Um, sorry, I can't say hi to y'all individually because, you know, people will complain. I talk to them. Um, but uh, so Teddy Bear Rules bought him a pizza and asked him to cut a promo. So he's doing like a wrestling promo. And this, mm -hmm. this particular character he's oh, doing. Oh, okay. Um, this particular okay. character he's doing um, is called um, the uh, no no he's doing the Arthur it's the Arthur Morgan individual so the guy the, the main character from Red Dead Redemption the only Jackie two super chatted oh, super oh, chat. as okay. much as I give you a Nova crap I still love you oh yeah we love you too Yami Yami you you Yami's a real one um, but yeah so that's what he's doing right now 
so whenever he plays a game that he really likes, he like starts acting like those characters and shit. So that's what he's... Oh, okay. Yeah. That now it makes sense. And this is another reason I'm playing that fast. But... In the ring with him, one, two, three, any day of the week. He's looking that's real skinny. Dude, I'm going to tell you what. But I'll just say, Carrie, you know, when you mess with the good people. See, gonna... see him talking shit about Carrie because oh. that teddy bear rules guy don't like her no more. So they, they going back and forth. So he oh. paid him to... Basically, okay. paid him a. He's doing a cameo for pizza. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, Have the karma coming. The yeah. karma train. He's working. God don't sleep. All right, I'm bored of this already. All I know, um, all I know is that Shani found out that he had that pizza. She was not happy, and this is the only of thing we course heard. She wasn't happy. <laughs> yeah, she was pissed, and all you heard was. <laughs> Super chat. <laughs> Hold on, super chat. Into a super chat smile. I have a clip you can turn into a super chat. Okay, send it, send it to me. Um, you you know where to hit me up. So we're gonna go to the next part. So, oh shit, did I f- hold on, y'all? I fucked up. One second. Um, you think she took that pizza from him? No, she probably ate. I'm, I'm sure he shared it with her. If I'm gonna be honest. Oh, oh, I know what happened. I fucked up and um. I didn't have my playlist open. That's what happened. So I'm going to just go. Mm. So. Open this thing. Fucking up. Yeah. As usual. Happens. Her so often. I don't know what should. Should we be down here? Or should we be up there? Uh, oh, my God. I like over to the side. Over to the side? Okay. All right, here we go. <laughs> hey, guys. What's up? So wait, the name of this video, what is it? Rev got a new phone and Shandy's knees are cheese. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Shandy got cheese knees, y'all. What up? Um, <laughs> what up, Herbal Tea? How you doing? Herbal Tea, what's going on? Shut up, Nova. <laughs> anyway, she wanted to pronounce things wrong, so. <laughs> anyway, so. It is Rev. So uh, it's been a long time since I've uh, decided that I would come on something and uh, say something. But uh, I was talking to Shani, and she said that she thought, you know, to see fit. Is this a light? Let me see. Auto. Okay. I got a new phone. Uh, It's an Obama phone, and I'm. Man, what a fall from grace. Yeah, I remember y'all used to talk shit about them Obama phones. Now (laughs) you got one. Jesus. Do they give smartphones away for Obama phone? Yeah. Yeah. They do? Yeah, smartphones. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... uh, Touchscreen and all that. Who said that? that? uh, Violet. Violet. Violet's another real one. So what are they going live for? You know they're coming back to beg. It's only a matter of time. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. But let's hear. It. Let's just shut up. I'm really happy, and I, I praise God for a, a government program that that helped me. But it's kind of a oh really? I thought that was only for the blacks, bro. Right? I thought it was only for the blacks. Okay, I'm gonna put this back to normal because Rev seems to be he must be clear minded. He must not be on shit because he's speaking real. Uh, what's an Obama phone for us Canadians? Uh, so it's just like a government. Uh, it's a government program that gives people uh, access to like cell phones. I guess I, I'm assuming smartphones. If he's doing this. Um, yeah, it's a uh, smartphone. Yeah, because it, it gives people who don't have a computer at least it gives them some type of access to the internet and and obviously are able a play a way to call uh, friends, family, emergency services, and things of that nature mm-hmm. if they can't afford it themselves. Yep. I check this court. All right, um, it's but, completely free. Like you don't have to pay for anything. You don't have to pay for the services, but you have to like <laughs> um, just qualify for it. So. And I think it's good for like a year or so, something like that. So, yeah, and it's free. So it's, oh, it's good for people, um, you know, trying to find jobs and stuff like that. And they need a way to be contacted or just having a way to interact with folks. Oh, uh, Melanie Mouse said it started before Obama, but this is that's the thing that, you know, a lot of these, uh, what do you call they it? Call it the Obama yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. but it, it was before that. It, it started before that. Um, but yeah, that's what that is for our Canadian friends out there. I'm pretty sure you guys have some version of that up there as well. Um, uh, hooves, I got it. Uh, 
I might actually, I haven't had uh, the little notifications for Super Chats, but I might make an exception for this one. We got Billy saying something racist, so uh, which, <laughs> which sounds racist, so I might bring that back next time I stream. Here we go. Can't do it now. You know, you got to cut it and do all that other stuff. But. Yeah. Private. It's it's called Safe Link or something. And you can get a- He actually has some color in his face. You notice that? Look. Yeah. Like, he's not, like, he still looks like shit, but- he definitely looks, yeah, like he has a little bit more color in his face. Does he ain't been? He ain't, he ain't been able to get his. You know, he ain't been. He probably been at most getting Delta Eight, but like whatever that extra stuff they was on, he ain't been able to get it. He's a, he's been detoxing hard. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh well, yeah. Yes, yes Hooves. <laughs> um, according to Nick Bravo, Rev is technically a criminally minded uh, individual right now because he's using. Uh, programs, but he's black. Oh, <laughs> that's what Nick. Wait. Nick calls black <laughs> folks criminally minded, right? And stuff like right. that. Right, yeah. but but oh, because Rev is getting like uh, government assistance. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, so well, technically oh. by that by that by that measure, uh, doesn't Nick Bravo get exactly? Uh, he's criminally minded too because he's actually exactly. been. In, both of them have been to jail. Yeah, and doesn't Sabella, didn't they talk about, like, getting help because Sabella was in, like, a DV situation or whatever? Yeah, uh-huh. that's, But he's yeah, on so government systems, too. They're all criminally minded. Yeah, uh-huh. They're all, well, he's literally criminally minded. He's a felon. Uh, yeah. And this dude over here <laughs> kicks children. So, Oh, which <laughs> Shani does get into that in the next video, so, which is going to be interesting. So let's get through this. The phone for, for free, and it actually works, the safe link thing. That's amazing, isn't it? But man, it's been a massive help to have it. But anyway, I digress. <laughs> yes, serious. Yes. <laughs> so I was talking to Shani and, um, you know, a lot of you really wonderful, kind, actual, authentically nice people, which do exist, have helped us out recently when we needed some stuff. When, uh, you know, the EBT went out this month in the middle of the month and it was bad, man. We were, in the middle. I was living. How? Okay, that's a stupid question. I'm sorry. You know what? That's a dumb question. You you lucky I can't find it. You lucky I can't find it. <laughs> you know what? I can't find it. Question. I don't know where it is. <laughs> well, I'll just use this one. Bruh. I mean, <laughs> really? And you didn't know I why? I didn't ask the question. <laughs> and then on the middle week, why? <laughs> It, reg- it registered just how dumb that question was as soon as I said Oh, there yes. it goes. Really, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> you know why. That fucking Tyrannosaurus Rex that's sitting next to him. Shit. Sorry, that was my like, initial reaction, but you're right. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. Literally begging uh, in, hey, tiny in ghost. you know, pizza shops and uh, and the convenient, the convenient that I'm near is absolutely amazing. And they're like, it just come here every night at seven o'clock and we'll give you food. And it's not just like one day of food. It's a massive amount of pizza. And they're like, no way you should have this if you because I literally I've never done that in my life. I never had to do that in my life. That I, I walked into the convenient mart and I went, you know. Who's on the board super chatted two dollars nova ebt gone because he lived with a rhino <laughs> who's on the ground the ebt is gone because he lives with a rhino <laughs> can you help me feed my my wife like that's insane right? <laughs> can, can you help me feed your wife no hold on let me show you oh my god sir <laughs> sir that's why you're skin and bones i thought the food was for you but Jesus Christ. Okay, maybe by proxy we give him a bunch of food. He'll get some he'll get some of it himself. What? Yeah, maybe. He'll get, he'll get some scraps. Yeah. God damn. Fuck okay, it. I'm putting this back on. Oh no no no, that's too fast. Anthony Reeves Jr. Oh, Anthony, what up, man? And 99 cents. My severely autistic yeah, brother has a job. Come on, Reverend. Yeah, they've been that I was going to say that. They've been offline for a few months and still don't have a job. That's insane to me. That's insane to me. Oh my god. Um Shani is a Brontosaurus Rex, huge and very vicious. Exactly. Exactly. They ain't been doing shit this time on. Nothing. 
thought they would lose some weight, but nope. Um, uh, holo- uh, no, 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 holo- oh, and also, uh, let me see. Uh, man, you might have been a member for 13 months. Thank you, thank you, Anthony, uh, for your super chat. And Drew Love been a member for 27 months. Damn, celebrating 38th year of wedding yesterday. Oh, Whoa. well, congratulations! 38 years of, of, of marriage. Hell yeah, uh, everybody say happy anniversary to Drew Love. Oh, what up, Todd? Losing weight takes work. Yeah, that is true. That is true, Todd. What up, Todd? I ain't seen you in a minute. Let's go. Pray for me. You know, I need prayer. But, oh, you uh, need a job. Is that what are we calling that? <laughs> That's what Jesus, a job is know, now? I want things to go better. So, so just pray. Oh, yeah, prayers. they need super prayers. He needs a super job. That's what pray need. for me. But um, I was talking to Shani, and she said, with these nice people, they deserve some, you know, an update on me and, and what's going on. She said, I really don't want to go on camera myself, though, because I feel so sick and weak. And, and, and she does. I mean, she looks kind of rough sometimes because she is going through. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> she looks rough. She looks kind of rough sometimes. Bruh. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, she looks kind of rough, you know, if he's sick. Yeah, man. And you know, you know what makes you not look rough? Uh, getting up, taking a shower, washing, you know, yep. brushing your hair. You know, that, that type of stuff makes you, yeah, exactly. You know, putting clean clothes on, that type of stuff makes you not look rough. Levels of pain that I, it would kill most people. Like my- uh, Blossom said, hey, it has Shani still got, can she always, as long as I've been watching, she's been saying that type of stuff. So probably an imaginary okay. cancer. Yeah. Myself. Oh, that's included. right. That went away, uh, that whole cancer thing. Yeah. You know, you never heard nothing else Rest- after, uh, yeah. yeah uh uh-huh. Trying to cry for money. Um, so. But she said there has been pleasant, actual nice people that have have helped us, and we we owe it to them. And I agree. That's why I agreed to do the video. I didn't want to do this video. <laughs> sure. I was straight up. I'm not going to lie to you. I didn't want to do this video because I never really wanted to do a video anywhere ever again. Um, with with. Oh, so Shani's forcing you to do a video again? Is that right. what you're saying? We got Shani's you. Making them do it. Blink your eyes three times, Rev. We'll know that you need help. <laughs> Let us know. I don't want to do videos the, the way everything <laughs> has gone in the past uh, five years, um, the abuse. So, but I agree with her that the people that are real and, and do actually care about us and care about the boys and stuff um, that you deserve an update. So that's what I'm doing here. Uh, it's only three minutes in, like I, I can talk pretty good now. It's like, I want to get, Hey, does a radio station need someone to, you know, take over a, a, G, a DJ job or something, man, I could roll discs for you and, Play oh, 90s. Uh, go- I gotta do like y'all, and get me a, give me a, a song for celebrations, y'all. You know what? Fuck it. Is this is pretty opposite of, of, of yeah, Fuck it. Hell no. Tell the no, no, no. Hell to the no. Oh shit! Hell I wanted to stop no. it. Anyways, that uh, that's for that's for Drew Lover and Auntie M, who's been a member for five months. Said I turned fifty last Sunday. Celebrating no month. That's right. Everybody oh, say happy shit. birthday right. to Auntie M. Hey, that's, that's awesome. Birthday. Put some cake farts in the chat for Auntie M. Hell yeah, that's amazing. Anyways. <laughs> goth and, and punk music and not punk and goth. What the hell is wrong with me? I was more into Stained and, and Tool. So like progressive metal. Uh, Why is he talking about metal, music? Uh, uh, you know, like like typo negative, like like doom metal, uh, Nine Inch Nailing industrial stuff. And, and sprinkle in some lights on the board. Oh, super chat. Oh. Two dollars. The next thing is funnier at 1.5 speed. Oh, yeah, when he's like wrenching his neck around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's still got them junky moves, though, them behaviors. Uh, do you know, reactor techno awesomeness. And I could DJ that shit and put on sunglasses and a cowboy hat and be the reverend dude and spinning that stuff, you know, like metal and techno, Rob Zombie, stuff like that. Oh, Comic, that shit. Know. Okay, okay, okay. Or uh, message he, me here. He wanted to be DJ. He was seeing that someone, uh, thank you, human dog. Uh, he was talking about um, trying to get work. Oh, as a DJ. yeah, What's the, oh, see, at a, at a oh, yeah, I wasn't the same dog because I was reading stuff. Sorry, my bad. Um, y'all know that's a struggle. Um, but no, you're, you're right. Uh, for him to, but the thing is, if he wants to be a, G, uh, a DJ, he has to go out and apply, even and I, we all know he doesn't have any experience, but still, yeah, he would have to leave the apply. house to work. Yeah, exactly. You can't be a DJ from your house. At least I don't think you can. You know, like what? I mean, well, I, 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 TikTok. He can be a TikTok DJ. Well, I think so some. He wants to work for a station. He got to go somewhere. Well, I think. I think like big, big shows. Like I've seen, like of course, when COVID was hit, hit happening. 
like the breakfast club and stuff, they was doing it from their house. So there is an ability to do it, but um, you know. Yeah. But I mean, if you go on like TikTok and all that shit, there's a bunch of DJs that they just go live for like hours and like play that's music. how they, you know. Yeah, and they get like donations and everything like that. And they just go live and they do like a whole set. And sometimes they'll let other people join in and it's like a whole like party or whatever, virtual party. Mm. And they'll do that. So I mean there is a there is a, a space for it. But like yeah, yeah, I think he's talking about like the throwback version of a DJ. And like um I mean I don't even know that places are doing that anymore, like what they used to. Yeah, I'm on TikTok, but I don't do half or nothing. Yeah, I just yeah. silly Rev shit. On. On one yeah, right. Can you see him? <laughs> Ridiculous. He probably thinks that's how it is too on there. Like the people be scratching yeah, records and shit. Sure. Like no. <laughs> Whatever. Message Shanny's account. You know, I would like that. But anyway, what I can tell you is that her pain levels have done nothing but go that way, way up. <laughs> Okay, that's been the road that she's been on for the past uh, since she's left. Mm. Um, and mm. and and we because she's probably just sitting on her fat ass, not doing, not moving, not walking, not doing nothing, sitting sitting on her ass, being sedentary, and that's probably doing damage to her hips and knees and all the other joints in her body. Just sitting there growing fatter. Yeah, you know, granted, yeah, exactly. Does. Hey, I've been hey, I've been doing working out. My 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 fucking thighs are killing me right now. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna be built built guy TV. <laughs> no, brolic guy TV. Hey, yeah. TV. Oh. yeah, me what and my me and my wife uh been working out together. So it, it it hurts. It's gonna hurt too. But I guarantee you when you start losing that weight and getting thinner. Bolly yeah, it's oh, oh, super, super chat. Two dollars and fifty three cents. Hey, BG TV in Nova. Love from London. Oh, thank you, Olivia. Olivia sent me some uh, videos. Of, I think they were in Ireland and stuff like that. That place is pretty, you know. Oh yeah, Ireland's beautiful. Big booty BGTV. Hey, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Getting them squats. Yeah. No, like, uh, yeah. Her muscles, her uh, muscles and all that is atrophied. Probably. So like, she is gonna be painful. It's gonna be very painful for her for a while before she gets, you know. Before she's able to alleviate that, if permanent damage hasn't been done already, yeah, which so, probably has yeah. as big as she is. Um, oh, yeah. also, it's not. Oh, I'm not only doing that. Sorry, I got pull up bars and been doing chin ups and pull ups, so my back hurts too. Not hurt, sore. I'm sore. That's what it's wrong word. Hitting up squats. I'm telling y'all, I was. I'm gonna be brought. Yeah, like you said, brought it. Got TV. On. I'm just. Gonna see traps up to here and shit. Like, what's up, y'all? Yeah, then he's really gonna be. Oh, up look, I look buff as fuck right like doing on. this. Look. What up, y'all? Hey, he's, <laughs> he's really gonna get no shirt on. <laughs> you no, know, from the yeah, be back to the take his shirt off for ten dollars yeah. super chat. Like it's already off though. It's already off. <laughs> doctors' <laughs> prognosis that this is just accurate to what the doctors were saying were gonna happen. That you know they they looked at her and basically said, "Look, your future ain't. Fuck we're, you. We're not gonna lie to you that your future is filled with surgeries <laughs> and pain." Uh, you're going to be getting knee replacements at some point, probably around 50-something, something something like that. I don't know. (laughs) She makes it to 50, what? Probably a lot sooner now because the wear and tear on the knee has gotten really bad, not good. Okay, like I I see firsthand because I... I I would not be a nice doctor. I'd be like, I'd be like, that doctor, I'd be like Dr. House, but obviously less smart. And I'd be like, look, you're fat and you need to lose weight. You know, if you don't like it... I mean... Sorry, but you're, you're big as shit. Your knees, all that shit is fucking up because you're they're, they're living in the same place, y'all. They're still living in Pennsylvania in the uncle's place. Um, but I was just telling them, like, you, you're just too big. You need to lose weight. And I don't want to. And if you don't like what I'm saying, don't come back. But it's just, that's how I would be. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know. I mean, am I wrong? There's no way around it at this point because, like, a lot of the ailments at least. I mean, this is aside from, like, things like maybe cancer and shit that you can't really prevent, which, I mean, there's also studies that suggest that heavier, being heavier helps to, um, how do you call it? Like it can cause cancer. Keep up with the chin ups. That chin looking swell. Mm Mm-hmm. Keep up with the chin ups. That chin is looking swell. Thank you, who's on the ground. Ha ha ha. Uh, Mistaken Reaper 22 super chatted $2. I lost 186 pounds in a year half. It is not easy. Yeah, but you did it. That's the that's the point. See? 
Yeah. Uh, Reaper and lost. And at the end of the day, mean it. Congratulations yeah. on that. That's amazing. But Hell yeah. Like, yeah, at the end of the day, like, it's necessary. There are certain ailments that you can get, whether you're fat, whether you're skinny, but there are certain ailments that are directly associated with weight. And that's just what it is. You know, you want to yeah. be 30, you want to be 40 years old and feel like you're 60, but go, go right ahead. But it's going to be harder later on in life to get rid of it. Yeah. So if you could do it now, do it now. I'd rather have fucked up knees from, you know, hiking and climbing and running. At least you was doing something in your life instead of just sitting around with all that weight on your body, you know, and then crying everybody like, to yeah. take care of. What? I saw my mom fucked up her knees because she used to run every morning mm-hmm. for years. Uh, you know, guys, um, you don't need to run. You can walk. Running is for when yeah. you know an animal is chasing to, you. You know. <laughs> yeah, my mother used to huh? run every morning, and she used to work out like with like bodybuilders. I don't know what she was trying to do, but she 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 was like in the best shape of her life at that time. But she fucked up her knees. See, Every Sam. Result. Sam said he's fucked up. I got fucked up joints from a lifetime. So my shoulders are fucked up. When yeah. I'm doing some of those exercises. I gotta. Sometimes I gotta go and change the weight because it's killing my shoulder. You know what I'm saying? And then like yeah. sitting in like plank position, shit, my, especially since I tore my rotator, that should be hurting. You know? Mm-hmm. And so I can't. Some of those exercises I have to skip and try to do something else. That's why I've been using weights instead of because I could do calisthenics, but a lot of them dudes they want you to hold your body weight up on your arms and shit. And when you got a bad right. shoulder. That shit hurts, you know what I'm saying? So I gotta lift the weights instead. Um, but, but yeah, you know. But she got bad joints and shit for being fat. That's that sucks. And I'm not shitting on people with conditions and all that other stuff. I'm talking about Shani specifically. So if it do, if it don't if it, was it if it don't apply, let it fly. Right? That's what it's saying. Don't apply, let it fly. Yeah. yeah. I try to comfort her, you know. To, I like rub her down and stuff, you know. I rub her legs, and I can feel. Like the, it's not right. Like the knee, she, both of her knees are messed up and you can tell by just looking at them. But if you really oh, study it, like I have in terms of feeling it, it's like, you. this is like defunct. You have a dysfunctional knee. Like it's clear. So, and, and she had an accident. Wait, hold on. What'd you say? But if you really study it, like I have in terms of feeling it, it's like, you. this is like defunct. You have a dysfunctional knee. Like it's clear. So. And she had an accident around, I, I, we were just talking about this today, around the age of like 17 or like 19, uh, white water rafting or whatever down the Hold on, hybrid calisthenics shows you how to adapt body exercise to you. I'm going to remember that. All right, thank you. Uh, let me look that up now. I'm- Colorado, because she was a daredevil. I- and, and and it was 18, I think. Yeah. yeah. And uh, she, ju- she wiped out or whatever and, and messed up really bad her knee go, and didn't get it treated correctly. And then that oh this dude one yeah the cars, yeah one of the, the yeah I've been watching his videos a lot actually yeah 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 okay the l- little Asian dude he don't look like he don't he look like a little skin skinny Asian dude but yo you be seeing him walking on his hands like he'll grab a pole <laughs> and just be like out comp- uh, yo yeah he's one of the guys that got he don't care about the the appearance he just cares about strength you know what up uh, GGI? Yeah. yeah yeah I wouldn't want to fuck with him in the wrong like you think, hey man get out of my way and he just Toss you around <laughs> like get out of here, you know. <laughs> Causes of uh, uh, osteoarthritis is trauma, which I had no, okay, I so had no idea that that. Good. He's trying to say that her fucked up knee is coming from white water rafting, an accident that she had at seventeen. Which, which. Yeah, Shannon was white water rafting. She, let's say she did have an accident at seventeen years old that maybe put some sort of like that fucked up her knee a little bit. The mm-hmm. excess 400 pounds doesn't help it. <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, it's still at, she's still, I mean, Shani is what, around my age? So, yeah. She's my, she's like, like, like a year older than me, so she's probably 39 now. Oh, shit. She's older than me? Yeah. I thought she mm-hmm. was, all right. Yeah. So, it, but it's, she's still young enough at that point to where it shouldn't be debilitating. But the fact that she has all that weight makes it harder for her to, like, work to strengthen her 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 knee or even if she was to get a surgery to fix that knee all that weight would just fuck it up again yeah uh, so thank even you, if it, you know yeah, even yeah. If it originated from a, uh, an accident which is like which is possible i guess the weight doesn't help it and even getting it fixed would be like a, a, 
a, um, how do you call it? wouldn't make sense because of one weight. It would just yeah. fuck it up again. It would just mess. Yeah, she'd have to go back and have exactly. multiple surgeries to adjust things. Right. Because, uh, yeah. Right. Can't tell these fools nothing. That was the case. That's some science that I, you know, I didn't have a clue. Uh, so that put her into this, like, uh, not being able to be physical anymore mode for a long time. And that led to the osteoarthritis. That's the way it works, I guess. It's a trauma. And then I don't know if you get it treated. She, I don't think she got it treated correctly in the beginning. And, and that probably was the reason why I progressed into an osteoarthritis thing. But it's everything except her weight. You ever notice all their problems is everything except her weight? Everything. Everything, everything else. It's the, it's, the, it's the internet. It's the trolls. It's cancer. It's, it's, it's. Uh, uh, was it perimenopausal? This it's, it's all, everything else except for like her weight, like which a lot of those things can stem from your weight. Like just get, just lose a little weight. Or it's exacerbated by the weight. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, that too. But it, it, at the end of the day, that doesn't help any conditions that you have. You know? What I'm saying? Right. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, you can't ignore the 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 way that the weight factors into the worsening of it or mm. the existence of it. And they try to just eliminate the weight altogether. Mm-hmm. No, it's, it's that is that. No, it's also the weight too. Yeah, we, we don't know that. It doesn't matter. It is what it is. So what the hell does it matter really? How it got there? The the fact is is that you, you can I can just look at her and feel her and and rub her and understand that oh okay you're probably in a flare up right now because it's like it's so like it gets very tense and and like I can just tell you know and. Luckily, I, I have a certain touch to me that I'm able to do, and it's, you know, at least soothing somewhat. Oh. But um, you can clearly... I don't know who wants me to send you that link. I'll look out for it on Discord. Okay. Just, you know that she's sick. Like, it's clear. And, and it's progressively, and this is what the doctor said, so it's not surprising. It's progressively getting worse. So the, the update, mainly in terms of that, is her pain levels. This is the main issue, and what we'll be discussing with the doctor tomorrow. Because we're in contact now with the doctors. Are they going to the doctor again? Uh, Are they going to the doctor? Yeah, sure. For for medication updates and stuff like that. So, Oh, the next thing. What's coming is, I don't know if there, she's going to have to get some x-rays, like MRI probably x-rays to see the progression of how bad. Because what, a main part of this you need to know, and watermelon's going to eat foods. Hey, watermelon. Yeah, she's eating food. Okay. One of the main elements of this that I really forgot to mention was that she has progressive osteoarthritis in her spine as well. Okay, this is not, oh, it's not that big of a deal type of thing. No, I'm running out of battery. I can't believe this. Uh, It's not that type of deal at all, okay? What she's dealing with is severe progressive illness. Okay, this isn't a joke. And they, they made it clear that your your future, like I said, it's not bright because of all these surgeries and stuff. Like three major surgeries, two knee replacements, two hip and hip replacements. Now, what do you do with the spine? How are y'all gonna pay for that? Like, I mean, right? Like, I mean, are, are they on Medicaid and does Medicaid support that type of stuff? Probably gonna have to be on Medicaid. And when all the and with all those fucking surgeries that she needs and all those ailments, you telling me she still can't get Social Security? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, right, right. So. Some people in the chat saying he's, he's lying, probably, or both of them are lying. Yeah. We're not. We wouldn't be surprised, to be honest. No, because her back has been starting to. I, I don't even know. I I don't know if the spasm in, was involved, but that's when you're at a really bad spot. But uh, she knows that the osteo is getting worse in her back. She can feel it every day, flaring, getting worse. So. Sammy I mean, G will, like, wait, I, I'm not going to shine wait. a turd. Like, it's not good. Uh, there's no shining a turd when you look at it. So yeah, when I we have, look at both of you, we know there's no shining a turd. Like, what? <laughs> for prayer from Christians. And, and and I wanted to bless you guys with what I can bless you with right now, which would be a video. And that's cool. And to the, all the haters, even. It's like, we, we are just like, peace to you. Wow. You want to hate, that's cool at this point. It's like the Revelation 22 says to let the wicked be wicked, and they're going to do it anyway. And, and I'm not just, I'm not calling you wicked even. It's not that. It's just that your deeds are hurtful. A lot of your deeds are hurtful. So the Bible tells me to just let you do that because what? it's meant to be one of, it's a part of this, the world. Uh, the guilt trip. Yeah. You're hurting us with your videos. 
I mean, yeah. y'all, unfortunately, y'all, y'all have made a catalog of shit that we could just watch whenever we want. Like, yeah. I still had content when you guys were gone, us. like, <laughs> you, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, my that God. ridiculous. But thank you, I guess. <laughs> You're paying some people's bills, not mine, but, <laughs> you know. Because you can't appreciate the darkness. You can't, you can't appreciate the light without the darkness which is like a very Masonic principle and hey, esoteric, but we're, Shani and I have been talking about that type of stuff a lot lately. And oh, don't, the only reason I'm answering this, Violet, is because he says it often. His, his name is Jason. Uh, well, somebody already answered it, but uh, if he if he didn't do it himself, I would not I would tell you to knock it off, but he, uh, he always tells us first and last name. So. And, uh, you know, we've been looking into this actual official, you know, UFO stuff that, that is not, oh, it is sure. not, your yesterday's ufo stuff folks at all okay they they're really getting into science of it and coming down to like wow maybe we could have electromagnetic craft what yeah electromagnetically powered craft that you don't need a propulsion system you're using it this incredible stuff like and it could be the secret to anti-gravity you you just you, you use the what? planet and because as far know. as we know, electron. He's in, he's insane. Magnetism right? is an extremely <laughs> important, intricate uh, part of how all this works, which we're trying yes. to understand. But I, I think a lot of stuff is being left out and not fully understood yet, which is fine. And science will keep doing what it does, and it's going to reveal more and more and more of the, all these processes that makes me be able to ha- have a conscious mind yeah, to, to pull. Up. What is she talking about? I don't know. I was going to say something about science and how, like, you got, whatever, y'all, whatever, anyway. A video uh, to pull up a camera on a camera phone, which is like a tricorder communicator combination Star Trek stuff. Um, it's, it's literally like Roddenberry technology I'm using right now, which is connected to the Internet via Wi-Fi plus a net wireless network of 5g power which is absolutely insane like think about this stuff it's insane it's like that is we're we're there we're in that science fiction time and it's 2023 and it's gonna be 2024 soon and then 2025 and it's like there's a lot you know they thought about the year 2000 which is uh if you uh watch uh the uh the jetsons the year was like mm-hmm. 2000 something they thought we'd have flying cars and all that crazy stuff i mean granted yeah we can talk to each other on these screens and the phones that type of stuff you know Yes, but like yeah. they, we don't got no flying cars, and I guess yeah. now we're getting like robots and stuff. Now at this time, so mm-hmm. ain't gonna help with this planet heating up. But whatever. A lot of oh my god, a lot of twenty twenty five people out there too. There's always milestones for prophecy stuff, but Israel's gone nuts. Anyway, what? How did you go from <laughs> DJ to Shani's health to UFOs <laughs> and science to Israel? What? And aren't like typically like super religious people not necessarily fond of like signs? It depends on them. Depends. Points. Sometimes, sometimes depends. But they're weird. They they've called themselves witches and all this other weird shit. It, it's no. yeah, and this is sped up, y'all. Not by that much though. It's it's sped up to one point two five. So he is talking a little fast, but. I knew he was going to get into some crazy weird shit, so that's why I was like, "Let me just speed his ass up." So you want you want an update fully on Shani? We're we're doing our best. I'm doing my best. I I am doing my best to find some kind. Yeah, of I heard about the flying cars. A situation where I can get my car fixed. I'm I got my my as uh, I I have stuff. I have personal appointments coming up that are extremely important, and I I ask for prayer on that. I don't want to get into any specifics about any of that. I just want to tell you that I'm very close to having that meeting. And could you pray for me on that? And um. We're just continuing to to try and rehabilitate our lives into a situation where uh, I can get out of where I'm at because get a fucking job. We're uh, um, personal reasons. You know what's gonna- funny? There's all this dancing around, like the very obvious thing that you could do. Yeah. Granted, are mm-hmm. you qualified to get a job that's going to pay you a lot of money? No. No. But you can get a job. Yeah. <laughs> and like even the most like things to Amazon. Amazon's always hiring. They almost are never not hiring. He wouldn't last but two hours at an fact, Amazon facility. Nah, he wouldn't. He wouldn't. I worked in a, the warehouse. He would not last. But it's like, still, like, you could try to get a job. And it's like dancing around it. Pray for me. Uh, we're going to do this. We're going to do that. We're going to. When all of this could be at least helped. He could stock shelves. 
He exactly. can stock shelves. It's, it's not job. that hard. Take the product, you put the product on the show where it's supposed to be. That's all you have to it's do. It's not that difficult. Yeah, man. Like, what? And talk about we we want to move on. We want to be able to have a little bit of... He might be lying because his neck is his tweaking a little too much in this video. Income for ourselves to he perhaps get into some... No, that's just... Some people saying that he does that when he's lying. And I, he also does it when he's high, oh. too. So, I don't know. He... That neck is that neck is going up. The lie detector says yeah. that I'm not lying. What you talking about? Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm emergency housing because I would have income, uh, and, oh, and the situation. <laughs> That's what we're trying to do, um, and we're doing our best with food in terms of, of, of having to get food and stuff with without a ride and stuff that can be difficult. Um, and I don't want to be a constant burden on people in my life that that are caring. I do not want to be a constant burden on anyone. So. Yeah. We're like, yeah, you guys are right. Most cows, that's how most cows are. They just, they can't stop lying. Everything they say, it just lies, lies, just compulsive lies. They're always trying to cover up for the, yeah. for the last thing. Yeah, sometimes they come on your panel and just make things up on a, on a whim, just lie, you know. <laughs> lies like everywhere. Oh, what up, J-Mag? We're continuing to try and rehabilitate okay, ourselves into a living situation again where everything is stable and we have a certain amount of money coming in that, that we can start living normal lives again. But currently, we're still in the recovery phase, and I'm praying for these things that, to come together where I can just start living a normal okay. existence once again. Well, I would say, see, I mean, I, I mean, granted, we do come on here and we do watch these bizarre people online, but you know, there's a reason. There's reasons why I haven't really been catching up with Cyrax, and I know some people want me to do maybe. So I got other things going on. I don't have time, mm -hmm. you know. And then I'm also on Nova streams too. And then nobody don't stream constantly because she got things to do. Because we're normal mm -hmm. people. Get a fucking job. That's all you have to do. You don't even have to get something that's hard, dude. Like, just get a job, dude. I mean, Shani might not be able to get one, but you could get one. At least you could be outside talking to people. You might even make some friends, which right. I think is what Shani doesn't want her to do. You yes. Know? Yes. But you would be exactly. you'd be out and about, bro. Like it'd be it'd probably do way more better for your mental health. I mean, you don't even have to be Doing a job like you could do overnight and just like I said, stock and you know, there's nobody there at Walmart probably around at those times. You could just stock shelves and be by yourself and listen to music. Give, yeah, yeah, it'll give you a sense of purpose. You'll make some money. You'll be able to get a, ahead a little bit. But at the end of the day, he has he has like a huge fucking weight on him, and it's you know the yeah. name is Shady. Yep. You know I mean? <laughs> Regardless of anything, she's gonna eat him out of every check. Mm -hmm. And you know another thing, yeah, that, and then another thing, he's gonna start the jealousy shit when he's um not home at a certain time, or or if he picks up another shift, you know, like you literally just have a six hundred pound weight around your neck that's not gonna allow you to flourish in the least. And she's probably helping. I guarantee you, if he gets away from her, his life will improve significantly. You know, oh, hundred percent. And I'll tell you one thing: if he was at a job, like let's say. Uh, at a job like Amazon or even make, just stocking shelves at a Walmart or whatever, right? The, the, that money that they ran through before, he didn't work for none of that shit. That shit was inherited. So, like, there's no, you know, there, there's no understanding of what it took to get to that money. It's just like it was there. But if that man had to stock shelves or lift heavy shit or be breaking his fucking back to do, to make Twenty dollars an hour, let's say, which I'm being generous, probably more like fifteen, yeah, uh, sixteen. Um, and then this big bitch wanted to come and order some food and, <laughs> and use all his, and use all his money from stocking shelves for like ten hours a day. He probably would leave her a lot faster. Like if you get your big ass, like I think he would at that point be like, you know what? You like Shanny? You know what? Bitch. You got to get a job. Or I'm gonna have to leave your ass. I can't deal with this anymore. I gotta go. Uh, <laughs> uh, Julian, I used to have a side by side picture. I don't know where it is. It'd be too much to do to search. Maybe next time we do one of these, I'll sh I'll show a side by side by um a rib now and then. Uh, oh, how it was, how it, what, how it, how it's been, how it's going now, or some shit, whatever. Those little little memes. Yeah. It's a super chat. It's not gonna. It's gonna wait till I hit play. Uh, Shani loves you, you know. Oh to God! The haters, you know, it's we let it go, man. You gotta let stuff go. Now, does that mean that you, you you're allowed to come in our emails? 
and blast us with the lies and the crap and stuff, abuse. No, you're blocked and we won't talk to you. Okay. <laughs> but uh, for the most part, we just let stuff go. We went through a lot of really stupid stuff and getting in trouble with law enforcement for no reason, all kinds of stupid shit. But we let it go. Oh, and uh, we, for- uh, guys, uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, we might have uh, some. Just stay tuned. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't want to, because we got little leeches that let watch and stuff. So we got stay tuned on that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we're gonna have some some dope stuff. Uh, you know, uh, a certain a certain uh, a certain fruit. I uh, was talking about it. You know what I'm trying to say? Remember? Mm-hmm. Huh? Yeah. So we got some. We're gonna have some some dope shit for y'all. That uh, mm-hmm. it's gonna be dope. So stay tuned on that. Forgive you, really. Oh, and their channel. I don't know this. I don't know if he posted this on YouTube or this was on Facebook, but I know people pull it from because uh, the first video was from Facebook and the next video we're going to do is on Instagram. So I don't know if this was a YouTube video or not, or if he put it on another social media platform. We, we got no ill intention for you. So I, I hope this comes to you uh, with a blessing that you can kick someone in the ribs like 50 billion times and they have really sore ribs, but they'll go, you know what? That person was just kind of angry that day and I'm going to forgive them. Oh, like you kicked a little boy in his ribs? So you're forgiven. Right. Speaking of broken ribs, no, I'm joking. joking. Amen. Love y'all. I got to say, I find it fascinating. That you didn't hear me, did you know? No. I said, speaking of broken ribs, and I started laughing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, go ahead. <laughs> I find it hilarious. Well, fascinating fascinating that some of the worst people I've ever come across are so quick to forgive themselves. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. I be so hard on myself about everything. And you be people that be doing some of the worst things, and they're just like, you just gotta forgive. And I'm like, what? I just some of the most terrible I forgive people. myself for kicking that child in the stomach. Like, <laughs> right, exactly. You're not supposed to forgive yourself. It's other people exactly. to forgive you for that. <laughs> oh, okay. Some of y'all heard the rib thing. Yeah. Sometimes people's ribs get broke, but yeah, yeah, they be quick to. But yes, they just bounce back in two days. They sure do, yeah. Billy super chat. Oh, five Billy minutes. super chat finally came. Will never work. This man, yeah, I don't. Yeah, he won't work. He went most of his life without work. This man was thirty something years old with, with you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars in his uh in his pocket. I'm I saying. Yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah, I don't think he's ever gonna work. Yeah. So, anyways, well. Now, but this 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 ain't what we're here for uh, today, ladies and gentlemen. We gonna get to the real. <laughs> this ain't what, what we here. Yeah, <laughs> but we're getting to what everybody's here for. And and I, I think she dropped this video yesterday. Hold on. Like that they. Hold on, sorry, my bad. I was watching some of it. Oh shit, I'm fucking all. Like that they just sent one dollar and ninety nine cents. No, it because no one will forgive Shani. Yeah, that was no, but it's because no one will. Uh, will forgive Shani, so they got to forgive themselves. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense, right? That could be, <laughs> that could be it. Yeah. Maybe that's why people, terrible people forgive themselves so easily. That's true. Man, y'all trifling. Like the stream, y'all. Anyways. Exactly. Um. <laughs> 93 likes, y'all are real trifling. Yeah, we got 255 of y'all. Likes. Like the stream. You got to get 100 likes before we even press play. Yeah. Y'all want to see yeah. Shani? Press, press the like button. No, nah, I'm put the, put the thing on... Uh, to push it. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, hit Let's that go. like button. Uh, hey. Yeah, there you go. Da, 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 da. All right. right. Let's go. Nah, <laughs> I'll I, be on 105. All right. Cool. Okay. Cool. Thank y'all. Thank you. Right. Right. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> all right. So y'all know I got a speed shanty. <laughs> yeah, my back. It's, fucking, oh. it, it's been a while. Okay, let's try one point two five. It's been a while since I've actually spoke, but um, I just like I'm. I've seen a couple. That is, of that is funny right off the gate. God, my back. <laughs> Gotta let everybody know she's just not comfortable. Oh my back, y'all. <laughs> Cash up in the in the in the description. Yeah, osteoarthritis or whatever the hell it is. Yeah, oh terrible. 
Colleen ba Ballinger, and like right now I'm watching Cinnamon Toast Ken um, about what Colleen Ballinger did to Trisha Paytas, right? About just, jo you know, having friends come over to her house and. Here we go. Sharing Trisha's nudes and OnlyFans and giving it to her fans, which is illegal. Shannon got the crinkle back now. Legal. <laughs> Oh, Griffin Doggo said it, right? It popped up as soon as I said that shit. It's uh, that the crinkle called joints. Porn Revenge. It's actually she's, very she's just a whole crinkle. Like, my body's a crinkle. <laughs> very crinkle body. Illegal. Crinkle. And I just, I just want to say that, like, I understand how Trisha feels because that stuff has been done to me. And if it's not okay to do to Trisha, and if it wouldn't be okay to do to me because that's just... Danny. <laughs> Nobody shared your nude, right. Shani. No, Shani, you had it on OnlyFans. You had it at a right. certain price. It didn't get in. Then you cut the price. Then you cut the price again. Then you guys posted it on, I think if I'm correct, you guys opened an account on Pornhub and posted for free. Look, I saw that shit on Twitter. No, that was, I think people, I don't think she, she didn't do that. I think other people did that. Okay. But. He posted it on an o an open porn site where anybody could see it, so nobody stole it. Nobody stole it. And, okay. and the whole Colleen thing, uh, if I'm if, if I if I'm remembering it correctly, wasn't it because she was showing Trisha's pictures to minors? Yeah, mm -hmm. which is wasn't uh, that what she was doing? Which, okay, which is that's the fucking problem. Not yeah. showing that, like if. Her picture's already out there, then they're gonna be shown regardless. But the problem is if she's sending them to minors, that's the the you know the bad part about it. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Not not yeah, but but just like all <laughs> like like all the other they cows, go, they gotta make it about themselves. Exactly. It's not about you. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. What? The bad part. Yeah. Okay. Don't get me wrong. If you do have something behind a paywall and people show it up, is that fucked up? Yeah. Because you're counting on that. You know, you're, you have, yeah. you know, people who are paying, but we all know that happens, right? Well, that happens yeah. when you're in only, when yeah, you're in you only. Can't get away from it. Yeah. You can't. Yeah. And, um, nobody was sharing it with, with minor Shani. So like, stop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's not a good, that's not a, that's not. That's not a good. Oh, I can um, understand what Trisha was going through, bitch. This is not no. even about what Trisha was going through. It's about the fact that this woman was sharing the shit with minors. In addition to the fact that she was, she was regularly inappropriate with minors. So that's like, it's that, and then also sharing the news. Like all mm. of that is what makes that bad. Mm. You were sharing your shit online. It was gonna get out. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, exactly. Fuck out of here. Yeah, of course. But you know how the cows are. Fair, right? But that stuff was done to me by a guy named Dragnot Silvis or Alfred Mims, however you want to, you know. You, well, he's not really Docs. He does put his name up, but you're out here just dropping people's whole names on platforms who they don't know him. Like, come on. Put him. He did that to me along with. He didn't know? No, he didn't. Him and, and people from the Geek Room watched it, had an edited version for everybody else to see, and they watched the real version and were all revolted. While everybody else watched the edited one, while they ate food, he did not share it. He didn't post your stuff. Nobody could see it. Like, let's be honest. There's a reason why those chicks put their stuff on Twitter and they blur it out because they want you want to see the real yeah. stuff. You got to buy it on on, on OnlyFans. Go buy it. Yeah. yeah. Geek Room, aka Frank Wolf, <laughs> and a couple others did that to me. Miss Super Chat. Moody Super Chatted one dollar and ninety nine cents. Shan, the worst pain you had was saying no to McTees. Yeah, yeah, yep, that is true. That's the worst thing she could do. Is like, <laughs> no, I can't buy McDonald's. My heart. No. <laughs> but yeah, yep. Um, they but notice she don't want no smoke with none of them. But all of a sudden, saying their name first stream, first video from this woman in months, dropping drags name, dropping geek groove. Like, come on. Come on. Actually started. But leave me alone. A Twitter and it's still up. They didn't do that. They, what is wrong? Why would they lie about that? That's the thing. Those they wouldn't lie about that. They would say, "Well, we created one and put your stuff on it." They never. Right. They ne they don't. Why they wouldn't lie about that? Because they know it would piss you off. You know. Right. Of it, and you know, they pretty much stole and profited. 
from something I was trying to profit from, like just completely ruined it for me and my husband to try to make money to, you know, provide for ourselves and our children. Hey, Shani to plug. The um, children you don't have anymore? What? The children that were taken away? Oh, yeah, exactly. He's so busy trying to provide for these super Oh, wait, $20. hold on. Hold that thought, Shani super is a close personal friend of Trisha Paytas. She met her that one time. Yeah. Smiley face. Yeah. Smiley face. When they had money. Thank you, Billy. <laughs> what were you saying? I'm sorry. I was just saying, the kids that they were trying to provide for, the one that they, that she also let her boyfriend kick. Mm -hmm. She's going to talk about that, too. That, that kid? Okay. Yeah. Watch. So I understand exactly how Trisha feels. Um, I just want to say that I forgive all of them oh. for that. Um, these people really need to get into therapy <laughs> and heal. <laughs> Um, they they really need to heal. Drag and, and the geek room need to get the therapy, they not you, therapy like not the lady with BTD. Anthony Reeves Jr. super chatted four dollars and ninety nine cents. Shani also forgets that there are receipts for her sexually harassing several people herself. Yes, yes, yep. Missy Ann, drag too. Sending him a picture of her, of her titty and, and then Rev trying to get her. Oh really? Cooter trying to lift the gun so he could sew the, her vagina to. <laughs> Yeah, you'd have never heard of that story. Yeah, uh huh. And she she asked uh, Drag, let me see that BBC. You know, yeah, she hit him up uh, when he found. Wow. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Uh, Missy Ann. I, and a lot of other women, too. I'm pretty sure. I don't remember all their names, but they could speak up that they shouldn't even just say inappropriate things. I'm pretty sure Drag's wife, too. Yeah, so. Thank you, Anthony. Yep, that is true. But uh, but yeah, th they need to get therapy, <laughs> and I'm not shitting on anybody <laughs> with BPD. But we know that she, just like the other one, right. is not taking care of their 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 mentals, you know. So right, I mean, her being what 600 pounds is a clear indication that there might be something going on mm -hmm. mentally. Yeah. Aside from what we know about her having BPD and all that, her whole lifestyle tells you something's going wrong up upstairs. Yeah, that too, exactly. <laughs> yep. And um, I think a lot of people who involve themselves in drama on a daily basis, and I don't, um, I can't even really watch Cinnamon Toast Ken really because it just reminds me you know of what? what has been. I'll give her that. I will give her, I will actually give her that point because there are but, people, there are people that can't, they just can't break away from this shit. They can't break away. You know what I'm trying yeah. to say? Like if you, I, and, and that's like you and other people that constantly streaming every fucking day on Twitter, on, on their community tab, just talking shit all day. Like, obviously you got some kind of issue and you need to, you need to take care of it. And Shani's the same fucking way. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, stop, stop it. Like the geek room, Frank, Frank is doing his Pokemon stuff. They come on here a couple times a week, if that, and they talk about a little bit of drama. Brandon's now doing his he takes the different locales that's going on. He he does a show on Tuesdays, and that's about it. They're not constantly talking about it. You know, they might talk a little shit here and there on Twitter, and they move on. Like, no, you're. I don't know. One. It may be it may be some in the grass all these cows are eating because they're all starting to trying to poke at different people mm -hmm. that that are not bothering with them. You know what I mean? Like, well, of course, not bothering with them, not saying nothing. They're just like, you know, trying to grasp at something. So. Yeah. Of course, because think about it. These people, they like to involve themselves in the beef, so they beef. So when when views are down and all that other stuff is down, yeah. hold on, super, super chat for two dollars. All true was there when Drag showed the messages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drag showed them live on his channel. Yep, those messages. Thank you, Yami. Um, uh, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you and everybody else that donated. Thank you. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, um. Damn, what was I saying? Anyway, no, no, they like to involve themselves in the beef. So when views are down or whatever, because at the end of the day, these motherfuckers don't, they don't even care about the money. They care about the eyes on them. So when the when the, when the view number is down, they start picking at people because they want they want yeah, you they to pop off. Yeah, you know, so just gotta ignore a fool, you know. Done to me and my family, and it, it destroyed our lives. It destroyed our wealth. It it. Drag in the geek room destroyed your well. 
We watched the video. You guys spending money. Stop lying. It Stop it. It been a million years, and if it wasn't for Drag and the Geek Group. Yeah, damn you, Drag and the Geek Group. <laughs> you know how much her OnlyFans would have made her oh. if not for Drag and the Geek Group. <laughs> she'd be on. Uh, she'd be on No Jumper talking to Adam Twenty Two right now. <laughs> <laughs> right. What? Straight our minds. Um, both my sons are going to therapy to correct themselves over the damage that was done by these people um and me and my husband have been going to therapy um and we were continuing to go to therapy over this um you know they they, they want to make me to be this like angry person this horrible person and yeah there's times i said some choice words i got angry oh god i don't know how we're gonna get through this shannon you are an angry violent person you've been arrested a few times for an for, for, you got arrested for beating your husband. You got arrested for pushing your ex-husband's right. brother-in-law through a uh, through a glass door. If I'm correct, I think her father even says she's attacked him. Like you're a violent woman. With well, Rev, that time he got his head shaved and stared stared at the camera. He said she punched me. You guys hit each other. Hold on, yeah. Super Chat Shani advocating for mental health care is interesting. <laughs> her boyfriend threatened to Chris Benoit the family, and she told him not to go. Hypocrite. Yeah, let's. Super big hair cricket. Yeah, so let somebody tell me, I'm like, I, I'll kill you and your kids. I'm like, I'll be looking right. for something to hit you with at that point. I'm like, oh, hold on. You know what I'm saying? You better not be with me. At, uh, that's bad. Exactly. It's bad enough you say you're going to attack me, but then you're going to attack my child? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm looking. I'm. I, you better hope my gun ain't in the area. I, you know what I'm saying? Like, what? Uh uh. I saw that on Twitter. This one, I don't know if you saw me post this. Some woman had a knife to this dude holding his junk. Talking about, oh, you talking to these bitches? I'm like, you better cut me. You better cut it off. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll send it to you. This woman, and they, they posted online. I'm like, that ain't funny. You better cut my dick off, and you better make sure that I bleed to death, too, because I'm going to kill you after that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh -uh. I'm like, yep. You I'm do done. all of that to me, you better finish the job. Yeah, you're going yeah, to put a knife to me? Yeah, you better finish the job, because it's going to be a problem. You know? Fuck that. Yep. Very defensive. I didn't know how to handle the situation. Um, but through therapy, I've learned how to conduct myself and not let other people's problems be mine because their problems that they have where they think that revo revenge form or re revenge porn, which is illegal. It's not by revenge the way, porn, Shani. It's not revenge porn. Revenge porn is when like you and your husband, you send some pictures or sex you know sexual mm -hmm. stuff to your husband or boyfriend and y'all break up and he posted online when it was only supposed to be for his eyes when you post stuff for only fans granted it's behind a paywall but it's still at the end of the day you're posting it for everybody to see, for other people that that want to pay for it to see then you put it on pornhub so that's for everybody to see you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. no what that's not revenge porn that's not the same thing you know like, <laughs> it's not you put you put yeah you put your stuff on there and everybody laughs at you and and and, and posts it on Twitter and laughs at you now it's revenge porn like what you know I mean, the only reason why she's mad is because people laughed at it or yeah. I mean that's my assumption they laughed and profited off it. that's why right exactly is a okay thing to do to me um, they they think stalking me and taking pictures of my house and me and my husband being in the public is okay I don't agree with that. And it, it, it's it's not, you know, if you haven't aren't up to date to um, news, uh, there was a guy that just got arrested outside of Obama's house because Trump did sim does similar things that my haters do to me to initiate hatred onto others like like Doxin. All of them are involved in Doxin and they think it's funny. Um, but Trump. <laughs> Trump? What does that have to do with Donald doctor. Trump? Do your what? Oh, and she is right. She is right. I, say Trump, violence. I don't know how, where Trump comes from in that, that situation, but I will say this. She is right that it's slowly but surely certain states and stuff are like uh, uh, nipping that dox and shit in the bud. They are. Um, um, oh. the, yeah, yeah. Um, Morgan and Morgan. Right now, he has a whole thing. Uh, you can um, drag posted it on Twitter. Um, and Morgan and Morgan now he's taking cases for people that do shit like that. Like, 
or harassing you online, he's taking cases for that shit. Yeah, and in certain states, like people don't know because people don't look up the law. Certain states don't play with that. You right. dropping people's personal information on on computer. You know, certain states in the Northeast, um, and things of that nature. Yeah. Huh? That's interesting. Yeah, yeah. Certain states don't play with that stuff. Um, so you know, if anybody's doing that to y'all, make sure you collect it. Make sure you collect it. Every time a person yeah. drops your information, collect it. Um, yeah, if anyone's doing that to you, spend less time being outraged and more time collecting information. Yeah, yeah. But they yeah, don't do what they're going to do, but get the information and get the screenshots. Yeah, yeah. Make sure you save URLs. Just because somebody's account is gone yes. doesn't mean that it yes. can't be looked up. So save URLs, mm-hmm. too. Um, and then channels, all that. If you take a screenshot, make sure you always have you on your computer. Because I know a lot of people do it on the phone. But if you do it on your computer, make sure you get the whole fucking screen. You catch them URLs. Because that's that's where the money shot is, the URLs. May I just remind you that Trump did the same thing, gave Obama's uh, house Oh, yeah, out. And, and don't interact with the people, too, just in case certain things yeah. happen. Then they won't be like, well, you're going back and forth like we saw with other people who have their cases where y'all going back and forth. If you're not going back and forth with them, you know what I'm saying? Now it's just harassment. Yeah, so pay attention to that. And one of these guys (laughs) that follow MAGA um, (laughs) almost killed Obama and Michelle. What? And probably their two daughters. What? Wait, when did this happen? Look, I'm not a big news guy, but I'm not a big news guy, but I follow certain people on yeah. YouTube, and I'm pretty sure I would have heard about a guy stalking Obama uh, and Michelle, Michelle and Barack Obama, and got <laughs> getting arrested. Have you heard anything it's like a that? Bag of guys too, no. Yeah, no, that'd I be mean, all over the news. I'm probably similar not to Fox, you but. in the sense that, like, I don't really follow the news closely, but I do watch. That would be national news. No, that would be yeah, world news. It would have been up there. It would have been pretty much across the board, right wing people and left wing. So uh, and I haven't heard Oh, it was. They're saying it was a recent headline. Shit, that's oh, crazy. None of the headline. people I follow have talked about that. Oh, crap. The one time Shannon really? was right. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, oh, shit. Huh. TYT did a thing about Oh, Trump tweeted Obama's address? Is he... Ch- what? I do, I do oh. follow a channel that talks about Trump a little bit. The Secret Service intercepted him. Wow. Then Whoa. a guy got arrested outside the house this, for weapons. This dude what? is Trump is losing his fuck. You ain't never it ain't no I'm sorry, ain't no regular hillbilly ass dude with guns gonna kill oh, uh, a no. former president. That's not happening in this country. I mean, but you not see anymore. the way that um that whole um They're not a cult guys. The, that whole plot to kidnap the Michigan, uh, what was it, the governor or the mayor or something like that? Dude, I was, me and this guy at work was arguing about that. He was like, it's Antifa. I'm like, what? Come on, guy. What Come on, bro. Going, like, guy. you got nuts on okay. both sides, bro. And it's, if, yeah, you, exactly. if you stoke the fires, it's going to be crazy on both sides. It's going to do stuff like that. You don't need to lie and say it's the other side. There's nothing wrong. It's nothing wrong. If you are right, if you right leaning, they ain't got nothing to say about it. Would you go up there and kidnap the mid? Yeah, then why you got to lie? Don't lie about it. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's crazy. Oh, here we go. Okay. A man who took... This is... I'm getting this from... Are you looking it up? Okay. Yeah. A man who... Okay. A man who took part in the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol was arrested Thursday night in a Washington neighborhood where former President Barack Obama lives, according to NBC News. Um... The man, I'm going to take out his name, had been sued by the wife of a Capitol police officer who committed generalized herself after the riot. NBC and other news organizations said, holy shit. Okay, the man had weapons and explosive materials and was arrested on a warrant related to the January 6th attack. Oh, so they was looking for him. Yeah, he already had a warrant, but but he was arrested outside of the home with weapons and explosive materials. Holy shit. Okay. Well, I didn't know that. Wow. Yeah. That's wild. Well, I'm surprised I didn't see. Shanny for the win. Okay. Yeah, I'm surprised because one of the channels I follow, they've just been covering like the, the cases and stuff, but I'm surprised they didn't talk about that. That's wild. Okay. Oh, okay, Shanny. Look, Ali, but, but, don't don't judge me. I said mayor, either mayor or governor. I don't know. I don't know this stuff, right? <laughs> 
I'm just somebody. She's just lying because she got caught. That's all it is. But uh, oh no, y'all, y'all. That's why I don't really. Judging me, damn. I don't. I don't watch me. I don't. I don't watch the the big news uh, channels because I don't like any of them to be honest. At the end of the day. Yeah, I mean. Um. But anyways, back to this. A lot of our secret service. Stop fighting in the chat about political things. Damn it. He was armed to the teeth. And he, he also had I wacky Jackie. <laughs> had things to Malikov cocktails. How do you know by doxing me that that wouldn't happen to me? It, it shows you that there are people who are willing to do that. Um, a lot of mentally ill people who also need to go to therapy and also need to heal. Um, The thing is, is like, if you ever watched <laughs> the, the David Tennant show, um, what is it called again? <laughs> oh my God. I'm sorry. My mind is just. Oh off. yeah. So sh once again, Shani is obviously is, is equating what's happening to Barack, to her. No, right. <laughs> it, don't get me wrong. I don't, agree, I don't like that stuff. I don't like the IRL stuff. I don't think people should be following them around. I don't think people should be taking pictures of them. I don't think people that lit that are, uh, I don't think. I, I, I'm just I'm not cool with that. I, I like to spectate. Yeah, I don't like really. to get involved. Um, Unless it's Cyrex. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't care about him. But uh, and, and some people might say, "Well, hey, Reb did abuse a child." Yeah. You know, so I mean, I'm not going to say that's what people are apathetic towards him. Too. Yeah, I mean, so I'm just saying in general, I like to spectate. I'm not yeah. in the IRL stuff, but um. But it's not the same thing, Shani, if people just take a picture. Like, nobody's trying to, nobody wants to come to your house. Like, it would have happened already. <laughs> it would have happened already if, if, if uh, well, people have, people know where you live. And it's, I mean, it's y'all's fault. Like, at the end of the day, um, people know way too much about you because you guys tell, tell on yourselves all the time. So, mm -hmm. what you going to do? But anyway, back to this. Because my pain levels are crazy insane. Um, it's a detective one. Oh, Grace Graceland, no, that's it. Is that? Yes. Or is it Grace Graceville? Grace. I hate when Shane talks about It's on Tubi right news. now if you want to watch it. Tubi? It's, oh, yeah. It's up, I left it off. Grace oh, Point. Okay. okay, Grace Point. Yeah. Great show, by the way. It is. He, he said something that, you know, these people are good people. And David Tennant replied to, yes, but even good people... In pain, have their money. breaking point, <laughs> and it's true. Like those points where you see me yelling on camera, I was at my breaking point. Uh, like I've been harassed for over ten years, and um, no, Shani, I I know Tubi is free. I haven't. I don't. I don't watch it, but I'm hearing it's good. That's it's, my Shani. I love Tubi. Uh, but Shani, nobody. You say weird shit like when you say you think the moon is a hologram and shit. Like people are gonna have stuff to say about that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 yeah. you know, yeah. like when you say weird stuff. Um, when you sit there and tell your kid that I don't force you to, uh, I don't force you to, to, to read the Bible, and one of the kids go, "Yes, you do," and you look at him, you go, "Oh no, I didn't." Like people gonna say stuff about that type of shit. Exactly. You know? Someone's gonna respond. Yeah, and then and then when people, you know what happened. You know what I think? Uh, uh, what I think happens as we saw them when they were rich and they were in those apartments. You would see little glimpses of the house and like piles of trash here and piles of piles of trash in the in the bathroom, which is weird. Most people try tend to keep their bathroom free of clutter, and it would have been a different story if it was like towels or shoes, but it was like garbage, garbage, right? Like yeah, it was yeah, yeah. What I saw. Oh, it's raining again. Um. Yeah, people. That's why I think people got concerned at the end of the day, uh, and things like her doing her mukbangs and like give the rest to the children. That shit is concerning. You know, you guys are banging in in a, a OnlyFans video, and and, and yeah, yeah, uh, a, a filming in progress. Weird stuff like like kids are next door yeah, while you guys are weird. fucking. Like, what is wrong with Anthony you? Reed oh, super Jr. chat. Super yeah. chatted four dollars and ninety nine cents. Numerous people away from the internet are actively trying to get away from Shani due to her overwhelming funk. <laughs> yeah, her neighbors do complain about that funky ass house, uh, and they're trying to get uh, <laughs> far, far away from it. Like the stream, y'all. Um, uh, but that being said, like it's just little alarming things. You know, if you guys were just two idiots in a house with no children, I guarantee you, half the shit nobody would 
care. We just be they would just be uh, happy just to watch you online. But you guys, you have you had children. Mm-hmm. I th- personally, not that they don't have any children, I, I definitely think y'all should just just sit back and leave them alone. Like, don't go by their house and don't take pictures of them. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, when they had the kids, it was more understandable. Yeah, yeah definitely. More, um, I guess, proactive when it came to the kids. But now. Eh. I mean, unless somebody from the Cyrax universe wants to go out there and protest in front of his house, now that would be funny. Look, uh, unless one of y'all, uh, no, I'm not saying that you should do that. <laughs> I was gonna say, unless it's gonna be an auction for like <laughs> for some lawn furniture. I would love to hear. Uh, I would love to hear Rev scream. Ah! And he'd be like, let it out, let it out, uh, Rev. I want to know why you did this to me. That would be great. <laughs> I need I I need a break from it. I don't want to see it, um, and I'm enjoying not engaging into social media and seeing who does what and who does what and who does what. Why are you lying? But with the Colleen Ballinger, you know, the whole time I was thinking about, oh my God, Trisha, because I know Trisha, I love Trisha, and she's a great person, a great girl, uh, a great woman a good mom a good wife um she's just a when i met her she just was just genuinely f- full of love and grace yeah because you paid to go see her you what would you think you're gonna pay a bunch of like she's had some kind of show where they had like the backstage like go meet the creator oh, okay. right the meet and greet. yeah the meet and greet like i've, I've met a few comedians and stuff because i bought the like the the package where you get to meet them. Of course, they're gonna be nice, but you oh. and take a picture. What are they gonna be mean? Like, oh, come on. Yeah. Yeah, they're gonna be nice to you. Of course, you you paid money to go see them. Of course. I mean, she's like, they were not. Oh, okay, so that's what she's referring to. Like, yeah. She says, "Oh, I know Trisha." Is yeah. A meet and greet. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, she bought. She bought. Yeah, she bought her and the Rev went. And, you know, Rev was obviously just trying to please her, but there are pictures and videos of her standing right next to Tr- Trisha Paytas talking to her, you know? And um, and so now she knows her. Like, okay. Y'all, y'all are best oh, friends. God. Okay. <laughs> but there comes a breaking point where you can't be around people who are going to be vitally toxic toward you and act like your friend. And really, they're not. I've also gone through that with people over the internet. You know, people being my friend but talking crap behind my back that that really hurts and i hope to the people who've done that to me that it's never done because the problem is y'all as soon as anybody comes in and says nice things to you and then you then they say if they sit there and say nice things to you long enough you will let them like talk to you outside of the internet and then then you get upset when they turn on you like yeah like jules basically and others you know what i'm saying you got to stop that shit like you i'm sorry you guys are you guys are prime low cow you got. You should be wary of anybody that you talk to online. Uh, yeah. Well, in general, yeah. you should be wary of anybody you talk online, but especially when you when you got a, a community of people that just watches your misery to laugh at you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So. To you, because you're, you know, even though you deserve it, I don't want that to happen. To uh, you because- who's uh, Avatar? We we you kind of just getting into the Shani video, the meat of the situation. So you didn't really miss too much. It's one of the most painful things you have to go through. Um, That's another thing. None of these people make friends like outside of the internet. Like you know, there's people outside the house. You know, humans. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. You know, they always pick the same type of people to get stabbed in the back from. (laughs) Every time. It's always the same type of people because every time that they befriend someone is always. Uh, to to like to serve a purpose. Mm-hmm. So when that ends up falling apart because they don't actually like each other, then they're like always left astounded at the end of it. But it's like, no, you pick the same type of people because you just want people to fight for you. I mean, that's how I got to know certain people because they were white knighting for her. So, mm-hmm. you know? yeah. And I, I, I have to say all these things that these people <laughs> do to me, it, it does, it does hurt, you know, I'm human and my long suffering is not infinite, long. it's a human standards, <laughs> oh. um, so why am I held on such a high standard when I'm usually always poked by these people? 
I mean, if you were constantly poked and made fun of and dehumanized on a daily basis, uh, would you also not want to react to it? Uh, but I have there's nothing wrong with reacting, but like you, you, you go extra, like Fanny, you, uh, you threaten people, you dox people, you've, uh, you, you, you've employed certain attack dogs to go after certain yeah. people. We all know who those people are. Um, mm -hmm. instead of you just getting on your stream, reviewing the person back or just talking about it, like, like a normal person would you, you went to the extra mile just cause you don't like people talking shit about you. Guess what? People are constantly going, no matter what you do, somebody's going to talk about you. Ain't nothing you can do about it. Not everybody's going to like you, you know, nope. nope. But you could have, you, you could have just did, did the normal thing, like normal, like what we're doing here and just responded back to the person's bullshit. And maybe, maybe, uh, you know, who knows? Maybe you, if you were funny and, and get endearing, you, you would have, got them back and made more money than them or just like it, it, it definitely would have been a back and forth and, and you, know, you could have made money they could have made money but it's the cows y'all always getting your feelings about it and gotta go gotta go extra gotta be super extra with it you know yeah there is a way to 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 move yourself from being the subject of content or being being the content to being just an observer but mm -hmm. you have to you have to be willing to like talk a little shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. And like <laughs> that's really all it comes down to. Like, but because these a lot of these folks are reactionary and they just go and respond Sensitive. with these outlandish claims and then they like you said, they they get other people to do their dirty work and then now they're doxing people, now they're doing this and now they're doing that. Then you just become prime like content material. Mm -hmm. and, Yep. It never fails. Yep. Be less sensitive. Like, people are always going to talk shit about you. you. You know, like, you can't get mad at, like, it's one thing if people are, like, looking up your personal information and, and things of that nature, but if, if people talk mm -hmm. about shit that you put out there, you can't be upset at that. The only thing you can be upset at is yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yep. I mean, I... I put all that shit out there. I talked about when I had to go through that floor closure. Like, people think throwing that in my face hurts my feelings when I'm the fucking motherfucker that put it out there. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, I talked about it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, oh, you with the floor closure. Yeah, and? You know what I'm saying? Like, right. the fuck? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like you know, some people, like, some of y'all niggas been arrested. Like, and? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh -huh. You know, exactly. Some of y'all niggas have lost your car. Some some of y'all done been evicted. Some of y'all done, you know, got lawsuits against you. Like it shit happens to people, you know what I'm saying? But you throw that up in my face, I ain't up here crying about it. You know what I'm saying? It's just like you just gotta move yeah. on, man. It's just like keep it pushing, but I can't do it. My piece, like my New Year's resolution. I never make New Year's resolutions. But I did this year and it was I wanna I wanna make peace. Stop and solitude, forcing. my number one priority <laughs> this year, um, because I need to heal. Um, I'm very physically sick. Uh, the doctors don't really know what's going on. I have to go to an orthopedic surgeon. I have to. Some of us dry hump water fountains. <laughs> to go to a gastro Human dog TV said that. <laughs> gastro, uh, a gastroenterologist or something like that. Um, you know, I have all these appointments to doctors and then my therapies next week. I go to therapy every two weeks, but um, and they're doing exposure therapy. So like that also would not make it appropriate to be on the Internet daily because, you know, I'm dealing with issues that should be kept private um, that are very personal and, and heartbreaking to me. Um, OK. You know, I know a lot of people want me to mention Carrie's name. Uh, I really don't know this person. I you didn't have to. We spoke to her like five times and Hi. she tried to elude that like we were best friends. And it, to be honest, my best friend is Jason and I really don't have any friends. Um, I have That's people bad. who are associates. Uh, I, I, I care about you. They're, yes. There's legit people that care about Yes. You. And I, I love them and I care for them back. Um, that would mean but <laughs> i have my fans of course 
no matter what. And I thank you for standing by me and being there for me when I needed someone to talk to. You guys are fucking awesome for that shit. Um, you know, I rolled my eyes when she said she had fans, but she probably does. There's probably somebody that likes this woman. Because, I mean... Definitely yeah. No, 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 Joda, you laugh, but she probably actually does have. Look, look at some of the look at some of the most disgusting, quote unquote, creators we have online. There's people that like them. There are people that that you could be the you could be the shittiest person on this platform, and you are gonna have somebody that that likes you. Unfortunately, you know. Yeah. So I, I believe there are probably some people that actually like her, but majority no. But. I just think the internet, and I think it's coming soon that the laws are going to change yeah. based on what you can and can't do on the internet. Um, and they're probably going to start enforcing it because this was done to Obama. You know, he, Obama was, you know, what's funny though, when, when that type of, that's that's how sometimes that shit does change when the, when the big that's wigs, when the big wigs start getting touched. That's when they start putting out laws. You ever notice that stuff? Yep. Yep. When so. it starts to touch, when it starts to, you know, get too close to home. Yeah, when the yeah, yeah when the elite watch. start getting touched, that's when shit starts getting uh laws start getting. They might want to put a law in place. But there are. Cause they gotta find a way to do something to the person anyway, so they gotta, do, you know. Yeah. Plus, the they, internet they is still the the, the internet is still lawless as fuck. Like our our legal yeah. system has not caught up to this, you know. But you the bad guy if you go up and drive to somebody's house and kick their fucking ass for, for some of the stuff they've been uh, mm-hmm. putting up there and stuff. But you know, doxed. Can't and, be doing that. No. And don't do it. And we don't. We don't. Uh, we don't. Uh, you know, we don't condone that. Condone that necessarily. Someone tried to kill him over it. So, and this was another internet personality. This guy, um, he was posting, you know, all these threatening language. To not only Obama, but um, oh God, what is his name? Jamie Raskin. Jamie Raskin. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, God bless him. I'm so glad he's healing from his cancer. I, me and Jason were praying so hard for that man. Yeah, he's a good man. This bitch, um, bro. She's always talking about celebrity. <laughs> or people. But yes. I, I don't really know her, and all the things she used to accuse me of, like you're addicted to the internet, you spend too much time on the internet, you're not taking carry your kid she's doing now um i've I've heard that she spends 12 hour streams uh watching old videos of mine and it's 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 like all i told you was i had sex you're talking about carrie yeah Uh uh-huh hold on let's (laughs) hold on somebody sent me a text oh yeah yeah uh let's have a look give me a second i don't once again i'll say it i don't have a problem with this woman but uh see uh anytime you guys put something out she's on it so she did a video she does so anytime something drops about shanny she'll do an update and so Mm -hmm. she did the um the rev video she did part of that she did a part of that and literally i don't know i don't know what else she talked about but like four hours and i don't think she i don't think she spent it just on that but yeah uh, three hour stream. Um, that that crazy chick with the crooked jaw, Miss Parker, put up. She all of a sudden has that on mm-hmm. one of her channel streams now. Um, so I wonder where she got that. Um, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, she uh, she doesn't stream for nine hours, but it's like at least a good three to four. She has a five hour one there, but yeah, watching old streams. But what's wrong with that, Shani? Mm-hmm. I mean, Darren, she's lying again. There's no nine hour streams on there, so I don't know why you're lying. I just want okay, to check. So she's doing streams. Yeah, she's she's, she's she's uh she's um lying like how we used to, you know it was said that we used to do nine person panels. Remember that? So it's, it's the mm-hmm. yeah, on that level. Yeah. It's like the magic number nine. Yeah. It's with my husband, and <laughs> and this is how I'm treated. Uh, that's that's what made her mad, and I I I just it's just so bizarre what up, dude, to act like that. I think she really needs therapy and heal herself because uh, her behavior is incredibly inappropriate um, for someone she doesn't know. Uh, I, I, it's true. Uh, 
like drag he was like i'm feeling generous he gave you an email mm-hmm. i'm feeling generous uh <laughs> You want to earn thirty dollars? No, no, we don't want to work with you. You stalked us. You caused other people to stalk us. You harassed us for years. Uh, there was this one year where he did a summer of Gmail. So Taco Tuesday. Hold on, hold on. Someone's knocking on. Yeah. All right. Oh no, he left me alone. Oh shit. Brand new Gary said the longest stream Carrie ever did. Is the one where Shani and Rev argued over goddamn cookies and granola. Is that the one? <laughs> is that the one that uh, Rev had like uh, Rev apologized for eating the cookie that that Shani gave him, something like that? Um, that is that that same one? All right, I'm back. All right. I'm just throwing. T- well, guys, if I end up if it cuts off because it's thunderstorm out right here, um, then I'll it's- take over the stream and then. Just gonna be talking to yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. We'll see what happens. Just, what um, what, what was what being said? I forgot. Oh, that's the one. Okay. None of that. Um, they were telling me the. They were saying the only long stream that Carrie did was the one where Shani and Rev were arguing over the cookies and the granola. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's those are the Girl uh, Scout cookies, right? The thin yeah, mints, the, uh, like that? Uh, crickets. Not thin mints. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those. I love that. I <laughs> love that. All this, all this peanut butter and granola bars. So funny. <laughs> so funny. Uh, yeah, that's right. So funny. I love that. I, I had to make that a short. But um, that was so funny. What you talking about? I did a Frank. Oh, oh, leaving and, and yeah, but I was right back because it, it was my kid. Um, anyways, uh, she, I think she said drag uh, email them said you want to make a quick thirty dollars. I don't know if yeah. I, you know what I'm not even gonna speak on that because um, according according to him, he's not doing this shit anymore. So I don't know, but uh, then then mm. did the Nick Rob thing. So who knows? Well, let's go back and say you want to make. So she's saying you stalked us. Hold on, I want to. I want to hear this. Earn thirty dollars? No, we don't want to work with you. You stalked us. You caused other people to stalk us. You harassed us for years. Uh, there was this one year where he did a summer of G-Man, and all he did was talk about G-Man and harass G-Man, and it literally. That's not harassment. He watched his videos. He might have sniped them here and there. Um, uh, he he just he just reviewed him, and because once again, cows are sensitive. They can't take it. Then he got upset. You know what I'm trying to say? He got upset. I mean, right. I mean, and and look, I get it. Like you, if you're being reviewed by the same person or by even multiple people, after a while, it probably will start to weigh on you a little bit. Like fuck, like you know, that can't be easy necessarily. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, you also live your life online. You're pretty like abysmal. You know, like the 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 life that you lead is trash. And then mm-hmm. there were kids in the picture. Who were clearly being mistreated, you know, uh, yeah. mistreated. So, like, you add all of that together, like, it's a perfect, you know, recipe for people wanting to watch. Yeah. No, but he, Drag has been pretty open about anything that's going on. Um, uh, and then he didn't do any. He he did everything above board. He didn't. Ne- he never did anything illegal. I mean, you know, say what you will about, you know, um, you can say what you will about. Like, uh, well, you can say what you will about his behavior, about whatever you want, but he's never done anything illegal. Um, so everything's been over above board. They act like when he went to when he when he had somebody go to the apartment, your dumbasses told people y'all can go and take things that you want. So you had made an open invitation right. for everybody mm-hmm. to go to the go to um the apartment and, and get the things that you guys couldn't take. So he had so they had somebody go up there and record shit, and y'all got upset about it. You know what I'm saying? So it's right. like he's done everything above board. He ain't did nothing illegal to my knowledge. But um, yeah, yeah the summer of G-Man wasn't harassment. What he did with y'all watching y'all wasn't harassment. Yeah, uh, that's that's what I meant to say. That's yeah. not. You may not like it, but it's not harassment. If he wasn't harassing you, then you know what I mean. Like, it's not harassment. Oh shit! Avatar said. What's with the camera angle? Is she is she filming inside her food? But she might have like her finger over the camera or something <laughs> like that. Or maybe she's maybe she got it on her titty or something. She's like <laughs> Gross. It's not a bra. Yeah, right. Broke his mind. I know she don't wear bras, right? No. 
and and you you think that's a good thing why would i ever work with you or ever want to have anything to do with you you're not my friend you're you're not the type of person is that for my gyno oh uh, this one gross she had to drop that too uh it could be that or the other no it's not the other it's yet. the so gastro yeah, yeah that's right okay that's right yeah um a lot of that's gonna be happening <laughs> So she finally figured out he's not your friend. Finally. After your years and years and years, you finally figured it out. When the rest of y'all idiots are gonna figure it out? Talks to you like your seven your fucking seventh graders and shit. Really? Oh <laughs> that's how that well, happened. You know what it is. You know what it is? Most of them are so like they're socially they're socially inept, you know? Um so they they definitely are kind. They're always looking for acceptance. So him just giving them the time of day or giving them a space to express themselves, even though it's patronizing, they 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 don't even recognize that because they just so happy for somebody to be listening to them and validating them in some way. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, to answer your question, Eli, uh, people who are green are members of mine. Um, people who uh, they pick a tier and um, they give it, you know, it takes out money from them uh, every month. Um, I need to do some more members content, just hard full time job, family and stuff. But those, you know, people that want to support, but not necessarily give super chats every time I go live, they do that. Um, get like a little badge, and then you have access to uh, other emojis that everybody else don't get um, when you do that. So. People don't understand. You let Rev back in and the kids got taken. He could have come in. It's his home. I can't legally kick him out. It's just, I for, it's called, I forgave him for putting his hands on my child. Yeah. No. Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold that, hold that. Let's listen a little so bit So mind longer. your own business. Anyway. That is, that is exactly what it was, yes. Mind your own business, okay? Joda said it. There you go. It wasn't his home. It was G-Man's home. You decided mm. to let him back. You, she said it herself that she let him back in because she wanted some dick. That's why she let him back in. So you chose dick Wait. over your children's safety. She wanted dick from yeah. G Man. No rep. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, uh, she let Rev back in. Okay, okay, gotcha. Yeah, because he said I couldn't That's kick him out of his you. home. Right. Oh, after he got arrested with, for about the kid. Yeah, because that was in right, G, right, that right, was in right, G Man's right. house. There's a clip I you know I'd have to look for, but. The kids are crying and then and they're crying and then she's like, oh, hold on. Super chatted Super chat. $10. You need to only fans with Shani. That would be great members content. Why would you, why would you put that evil on me, Crash Kuru Kuru? Why would you do that? <laughs> That's gross. Why would you put that evil on me, sir? Um, but that, <laughs> that being said, um, <laughs> thank you for the, for the, um, the donation, sir. Um, what the fuck was I going to say? You totally took me out what I was saying, man. Uh. I forgot. <laughs> um, about about her letting uh, Rev back in. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So there was a, oh yeah, there was a video and the kids were talking and she's like, oh they're playing and laughing. They're like, no, we're not. We're crying because we're scared. And she, she cuts the audio and shit. Cause you bringing that motherfucker back to the house. The kid yeah. obviously he hit one of the kids and yeah, one of the other shit. yeah and one and the mm -hmm. other son that I think the older one called the damn cops. You know, Shandy didn't call. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's what happened. Yeah, like, you gonna let a man attack one of your shit. children? Yeah. So you chose a you chose a man over your children. You don't deserve to have those kids. Tell me, it's called no. forgiving him. What? No, 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 no. If you look at the end of the day, if he puts his hands on you and you decide to forgive him, that's completely up to you. Yeah. When it comes to them kids, no. Exactly. Exactly. No. Some grown ass man. Even though Rev don't look like he could bust a grape. Still, uh, he's still stronger yeah. than a child, you know. Right. And and for him to to kick one or hit one or whatever, shit, he's talked to them. The way he's talked to them for me would be enough. Yeah, would have been with. enough for me exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, what? Would have been more than enough. Like, <laughs> yeah, you know, like what? Yeah. Shit is wild. Oh Jesus! C crash. Wow, that's gross. Good God. Hold on, I'll I'll play this till I read. I'm sure there's plenty of times where people have lost Crash their craft. Oh, Super chatted five dollars. Shani offered G-Man Cooch to kick Reverend out. <laughs> G-Man was like, "No, no, thank you. <laughs> 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 nah, I'm, I'm good on that. You, 
You got anything else? Give me that PlayStation 5. You know? <laughs> I don't want none of that. You can keep that to yourself. He's like, uh, he's like, nah, fam. Yeah, nah, fam. I'm good. And you've forgiven them too. So grow up. Uh, like you, like you, like seriously. How long are you gonna keep this grudge going? Mm-hmm. Like you can't grow up and and move on from it. It's like you have to talk about it and remind people of it. Don't make me call my niggas. Like I'm. <laughs> Like, first off, the people that watch you care about your children more than you do. That's what that says. That's what that says to me. That's sad part about it. What a Von, Von Beard or this one. Yeah, your, the people in your audience care more about your children than you do. Some dude kicks, mm-hmm. hits your child and you let him in, went to jail for it, and then you let him back in? Like, what? That's wild to me. I'm happy them kids ain't, ain't near y'all. Yeah, They're probably having their best that life right nuts. now. Yep. Oh, shit. Every fucking day that I forgave someone. Right. And then you claim you're Christian. You claim you're. Oh, so you're going to use your religion as a way to to, to shame other people for not forgiving Rev for stri- strucken, striking your child. Excuse me. But it's like. Sorry, we don't. We don't. No, and this is- we don't fuck with people around here that, 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 that uh, uh, prey on children or hurt them. Sorry. Right. Good. So this is why say. this is no shot to anyone's religion or anything like that. But this is why there's some people who have a very hard time understanding uh, religion. Because if you can have a person who's that gross, and then you're like, well, just forgive them under the guise of religion, under the guise of Christianity or whatever, or being Christ like, it's like, wait, what? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. No, not forgiving this piece of shit for mistreating one of the more vulnerable the, the most vulnerable people on the you know in our lives is, is elderly people and children yeah and animals yeah and you mistreat one of them you're a piece of shit yeah like, no exactly. you don't get to be forgiven fuck yeah that. yeah fuck out of it get out of here don't let me see your face again or i'm gonna beat you with a bat <laughs> in my property again that's the type of shit i am. like the fuck exactly. for a believer for me forgiving someone after they repented and and paid their price and and got help, got help. Yeah, that's what I needed. Like you can't. What forget- help did he get? He went to jail for a couple of days. Like that. That was the yeah. help he got. Oh, God. that's it. If someone went to jail. You guys are gross, man. And who's done all that? Like you, you know that you that work. that is no longer our problem. That's your problem. That's your business. So how about you keep your little opinions and your problems with forgiveness and 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 just move on with your life because that scenario didn't involve any of you no very personal right taco tuesday yeah you abused my kid and that's what's happening you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. like fuck out of here it is very personal yeah. with- well just like just like what happened with Sirens, people ain't never gonna let you forget. They're just not gonna let you forget. They're never gonna let you live that down. No. You are rev. They're gonna bring it up every chance they get to piss you off. So mm-hmm. you know you got to deal with it. If if you're gonna sit there and and, and uh, take up, keep a man around that, like th- th- that's the reason her kids got taken after that last incident. Like that's why, you know. Yeah, exactly. It's like what Sammy said too. You involved us. It's like you put the shit online for everyone to see it. And then when people have uh, opinions about it, now you know, then you get upset. People are going to have opinions about people who live in squalor, who have children there, whose children uh, seem to be getting mistreated. Who uh, and then at and then it's proven by your boyfriend kicking one of them, and then you let him back in the house after he gets arrested. Of course, people are you want have to sex. say about it. Yeah, like, are you kidding me? That's wild. Women forgive their husbands when they do stupid shit. I'm sure plenty of people can relate. Yes. Um. That's right. You're gone. I <laughs> wish I could get some mods in here. I don't, can you have mods on IG? Of course the boys forgave him. We talk to each other every know. day. Hmm. As a family. Yeah, they still call me dad. Which I'm so, blessed. very blessed. Yeah, Move on disgusting. with your life. He's still letting them talk to him too. Like. It's not a big deal in our family. Why is it that the family's moved on uh-huh. from this, but people on the internet can't move on from it, and they stick a label on them that they're because we're normal, okay? We're normal. Yeah. You don't. You don't. That's not how you. Uh, you don't allow people to treat your children like that. Like what the fuck? Like 
Holy and shit. And usually, like, they're, like... Yes, this is a new video. How do you, how do I put this? There's so many cases where a woman will allow a man to, like, mistreat her. You know, sometimes even be physical with her, abuse her, all these different ways. But the minute that dude extends that to her kid, she's like, fuck this dude. Mm-hmm. Regardless of how hard it is to get up out of there, she does what she got to do to get that kid away from abuse. Because at the end of the day, she'll sacrifice herself because that's her emotions for that guy. But she won't put her kid on that chopping block. And that that's what people expect. At the very least, you could be in whatever fucking situation you want to be in as an adult. That's your choice. You want to gain 800 pounds? And and fucking live in a shithole, you have that right, but you do not have the right to do that to them kids, mm-hmm. and that's what people are always gonna get upset about. Yeah, and that and, and, and animals. Yeah, you know? and it, is it is it no surprise that a man spit on your face, put his finger to your head right. like a gun, right. so that he wanted to take you and the kids and himself out? Did something to your kid? That like, not not surprising. Right. So exactly. Intrinsically evil for someone having a bad day because they didn't have what they needed, which is proper medication and mental health. Yeah, and mental health. Yeah, that's right. Like I'm, I'm not gonna hold that against someone because there's plenty of times where I acted like a goon, too, because I. Oh needed- yeah, so because you, you abused your children, so you're like, oh, well, it's my mentals and his mentals, so yeah. I'll let it go. Mm-hmm. Like what? Oh, fuck it. Yeah, that's that's. Yeah. It helped Great. too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, a bad day. A lot of us have bad days. You don't come on and take it out on our kids, you know? Right. It's called, it's called abuse. <laughs> own problems, too. Everyone has their own problems. Jesus Christ told us, if you cannot forgive the sins of others, God will not forgive yours. Right. So what are you doing? Are, are you doing it as a rebellion against God? Are you doing it because you didn't know that knowledge? Are you doing it because you don't care about... Huh? I wish I knew the Bible only for moments like that, because I'm almost sure there's probably something to, to 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 refute that. You know what I mean? Like to, to yeah, it um, probably is something. Yeah, you know, like I'm almost certain there is something. You know, oh. some sort of Bible verse or whatever. But All I like, see is this woman I grabbing her cross shaped shield and putting it yeah. down <laughs> right, to, to exactly. block all criticism. I hate that shit, man. You know, like mm-hmm. I'm gonna say this right now. I'm going to teach my kid as the best of my ability, of course. But if, if, if she ever got in some situation like this, and I found out that the, I don't care if it's the dad. I don't care if you're the biological father. But damn sure ain't going to be some other dude. I'm kicking your motherfucking ass, yo. I'm running up on you. Be old uh, old guy TV beating the hell out of some young dude. I'm going to run up on him. I'm going to hit him in the head with something. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to beat his knees. I'm going to make sure. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't going to be... <laughs> <laughs> you ain't gonna be hitting Old my grandkids. Be sweeping the legs. <laughs> Telling you, bro. Like, like, um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say too much, but I had a uh, a family member that um the the um the the um stepfather hit one of the kids, right? And one and some of our family, like a group of the guys, grabbed dude up and took him somewhere and just beat hell out of him. You know what I'm saying? Oof. Yeah, they took they they yeah they put a, they gave him a couple new uh, bumps on his head and stuff like that. And he ain't, and then of course he ain't never come around no more after that. But um, uh, but yeah, he beat the shit out of him. Cause there's like, I never you- understand that shit ever, ever, ever. Yeah. Honest, genuinely, like I, that's the reason why I've been single for a large part of my kids. Like um, mm-hmm. you know, him being younger, and now he's a teenager, so it's a little bit different, but. But like Yeah, now you can pick something younger? up and crack that nigga in the head with it. That's what it is. Hey, you try to yeah, he's stronger okay, than okay, me turn. now. So it's like, <laughs> <laughs> like ain't nobody gonna run up on him no type of way now. Exactly. Like that's a, a strong boy. But but like when he was younger, I was super uh protective in that way. And that was the one I was like, No, there's no way I'm gonna bring somebody else into the picture for them to mistreat my kid. I'm gonna end up catching a charge. Hell no. So I just stayed away from it all together. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. I stay single until I, you know, until he's older and I find somebody that, you know, I can trust. But yeah, yeah like I, I can't imagine bringing somebody into my kid's life, disrupting his life in, in, in that capacity only to then that only for that person to then try to abuse him. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to be in jail. 
Me, yeah, me too. I'm like, like I said, oh, you, you hit a one, yeah, you hit my kid, we fighting. That's what, that's it. I'm, mm-hmm. you gonna, I'm a body slam you. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yep. you, gonna, you might go through a table. You know? Yep. <laughs> what yep. you doing in this room? You just say, <laughs> you look like you did a cartwheel. Out of <laughs> 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 yes, like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know, shit. Like, you don't want to put hands on my kid. The fuck. God and Jesus and everything. Now, if y'all adults, that's a different story. <laughs> yeah. Hey, 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 what happened? Yeah, the kid. Yeah. Don't mean figure this shit out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he does like for you, like, <clears throat> like even to the atheist, you're still breathing, you're still eating, you're still drinking, you're still <laughs> loving, you're still able to make your own choices. God allows that, even though you spit the most vile hate toward Him. And Christians out there who is hating people, and, and this is the same problem I have with people who are MAGA, okay? Same problem. I don't know. Um, they love they love to do that. They start vile, talking po- politics for things. They no nonsense. Reason. They they threaten people. They harm people. They harm police officers, and, and, and they complain about the country all the time. Yet they want to call themselves patriots. How are you patriots if you hate your country so much? You're not. Shannon, were- shut up. Fucking, fucking during election season, you're gonna be a, you're gonna flip again. She's constantly, you, you flip flopping motherfucker. Like that's that's exactly <laughs> what she is. He is a flip flopping ass bitch. Shut up. Shut. Nobody wants to hear your political opinion. Shut the fuck up. Nah, liar. You know what it is. Now a lot of them like heard some other folks. Their pol- their politics become their identity. So whatever is cool at the time to be is what or what what seems appealing is what they're gonna what they're gonna do. This woman That's went from talking up. shit about black people, like how mm-hmm. like with Rev and how we're so lazy and all such shit, to becoming a. Then, then being a BLM member, right? And talking about how they didn't mm-hmm. take a kneel and all those stuff. Then being back to like when she got mad at G Man, calling them all kind of hard yards again. Like, come on, man, pick a <laughs> pick a lane. Jesus Christ! Yeah, because none of their positions are ever fully thought out. They're never oh. fleshed out. It's just like it's all surface. Oh, this is what I heard today, and then and I'm mad at this person, so I'm gonna use that argument against that person. That's all. That's it. That's the extent of the thought process. Serious dragon of color. Actual patriots, you would actually be behind the president, no matter what uh, label they are, either if they're Democrat or Republican. If you're a freaking patriot, you would stand behind them, regardless if they're Democrat or Republican. Don't call yourself patriots if you can't support the president. Okay? If you're threatening the president and, and treating the president disrespectful, you're a traitorish fool, and you're too stupid to realize that. Um... You keep bringing up this stuff. That's all you have on someone, and we've moved on from that. Move on with your stupid life. Um, but, sorry, your life isn't stupid. It's precious. But you need to, like... It's crazy. She, just, she, doesn't know where, she doesn't know where she wants to... She <laughs> She's nut. sitting there calling you garbage. You know, you're not... Your life is stupid. It's precious. You're, like, you're, you're lovely. Uh, <laughs> okay. I, I get through outrage over that. I do. I, I do, too. But it's like when people are getting help, they said they're sorry, they're repented, they don't repeat the same behavior. And I uh, love them. I love them. Yeah. I you know what yeah. it is? Since you guys like to tell, say, t- tell everybody so much about your relationship and your life, show receipts. Like, you know what? You can redact things. Show that you're going to therapy. Show that, you know, show these things. If you right. I, if they actually vlog that, I'm going to therapy. I'm taking this kind of, like, turn their channel into, like, a mental health channel. Despite the fact that everybody hates you, if you did that stuff, if people saw saw that you were actually um, uh, trying to make things better for your life, they might actually have a little pity on you if they actually could see that you were doing it, you were working out, you were getting your mental health in order. People probably wouldn't be as harsh anymore. Well, it's a need. They're like they're like uh, children in the sense that there's a need for like instant gratification, and you see that like. Even with some other people, they'll make these declarations. This is what I'm doing. I'm changing this. I'm improving that. And then the minute that people just don't buy a hook, hook line, and sinker, it's, it's back to the old bullshit. And it's like, okay, so you really wasn't doing all of that. So it's mm-hmm. like, look, if you know that, that's all it is. It's like a bunch of failed sales pitches. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, they need to be forgiven. And, and the people who hold grudges, for people who've moved on with their life, they they really need to get a hold of their feelings. 
Will you move on from my husband child abusing one of my kids that I, you know, just move. Can you all just move on, please? And stop just being such on. trauma queen. Yeah, just just, just give me forty dollars. Yeah, so yeah, you, give me so I can go you get need some pizza. Yeah, <laughs> some pizza and Delta A. Actually, right. give me eighty dollars. <laughs> right. Means anyway. Uh, I say one last thing about that. Yeah. No, you flip flopping motherfucker. Just one last thing I would say. <laughs> yeah. That any comment that they could give me is. I've said about myself in my heart ten times worse than you can Aww, say. Oh, poor you. I feel Aww. as bad about that as I could. Oh. And I want people to understand that. Oh. And your yeah, outrage exactly. is not uh, unfounded. <laughs> I get it. And I just want you to know that I'm actually in mental care now, and and something like mm-hmm. that would never happen again. Sure. Yeah. yeah. I want that known. What y'all think, crowd? What y'all think? <laughs> So move on. Yeah, go ahead. So move on with your life. Thank you. No, no, but everybody in the chat is is really saying this. (laughs) Tomatoes in the chat, people. Tomatoes in the chat. (laughs) It's been over a year now. Yeah, tomatoes in the chat, y'all. Move on. Tomatoes in the chat, y'all. Move on. Find some new story. Um, but see, I don't even like that saying that to find some new story it's because it's like you're, hurt. yeah, you're gonna you're gonna exploit and hurt someone else. I don't agree with that. No. I'm not gonna agree with that. Like Hunter Biden, like jumping on Hunter. And- yeah, yeah, them jumping on Hunter Biden. <laughs> he Hunter Biden. is getting help. Leave yeah. him alone. Exactly. Death like, supports him. Like if if if, if someone's okay. getting help. Leave them alone. He's a crackhead. Shut up. Like, yeah. Don't put insult. You don't get that old being a crackhead. Again. Come on. Man. He's a <laughs> to injury. Okay. Be decent human beings. That's all I'm asking. You know. Be decent human But beings. it's like people People need to heal. They're too angry right now. <laughs> what, whatever you're angry about. I, I don't care. Don't bring that issue to me. It's none of my business. But. Um. You need to heal. Like if you're if you're angry on a daily basis, regardless who it is, uh, you need to heal because you're the problem in said situation. Especially when people when the people you're mad at are in a process of healing. The 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 thing that happened had nothing to do with you people, but yet you want to hold a grudge while the person's healing. I I just it's stupid to tear you down you know it, the attempt is to tear you down yeah the ones that are oh malicious God. you know yeah the, the people that aren't malicious that are outraged it's like yeah i get why you are and and i'm doing my best to to a make- lot of us have children that's why we don't like that you know exactly I mean? and there's people obviously that don't have children still don't like it but it's still yeah, it's, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. get a hundred percent that the thought would never even go through my mind what happened happening again he- yeah, I, I feel bad. I, I wasn't talking about you. I was just talking in general. No, I know. I'm saying you should feel bad. Your your woman would still have her kids if you didn't put your fucking hands on them. You should feel bad. Right. What? The hell? From from my standpoint of their comments. Yeah, I get it, and I feel just as bad about myself as what they say. Oh, you hear that? You hear that, Rev? The dude brothers wants the they, they want a celebrity boxing match with you. you know, oh shit! You, if you agree to it, maybe we can set something up. I'm pretty sure people will yeah. put some money in a pot to get a get who who whoever needs to get where to so so you can have that boxing match. I'm pretty sure we we yeah. I'm I'm pretty sure all of us with uh, me Nova we we could we could uh, we could get the geek room. We, I, we definitely could get uh, some something together. <laughs> what? Hell yeah! That should be hilarious. We get some real clout fights going on. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, it actually happen. Right, get Cyrax out. Oh, Just tie him to a tree, let people punch him. <laughs> punch your weirdo! Wow. Everybody has to get a tetanus shot before. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cut him, and he bites you, and you get rabies or some shit. <laughs> God damn it, He's rat boy. So he feels bad for all of it, Debbie. Yeah, every second. And prison help with that. Oh, hey, Miss Nobody. Really think about it. So, Miss Nobody. And, and, and all the excuses go out the window. It's just, I, I it was a bad time, and, and I'm really sorry for it. And I thank you and the boys, but primarily Zachary, for forgiving me. Yeah. Because he still calls me dad, and that makes me want to cry, you know? 
Yeah, like if you're so focused on other people on the internet, you're not healing and you're not taking care of yourselves. Yeah. And I'm asking you, maybe, maybe you, I could persuade you to maybe take a break from social media and, and heal. And maybe when you come back, and you're healed, like, we could be friends and be chill with each other, and you wouldn't want to hold a grudge against me for something that I don't feel bad for. I don't feel bad for forgiving my husband. Thank you. And this is why people troll you. This is why it'll never exactly. stop. Exactly. This is it'll... why people don't, they don't like you. Yeah. And she, now, Shani had came back and said, you know what? My, my, my time away, I've been working on my mental health and uh, my, 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 you know, my health overall. And, you know, you guys are right. I fucked up. And, you know, like, went down all the fucked up things that, she, that they did, that she did and stuff. That'd be a different story. But you you come back and you do the same thing you've always done. You never... That's another thing. Another cow... It's like in the cow handbook. They don't never can take accountability for the fucked up shit that they've done. You know? Mm -hmm. No, never. Never. And I didn't even realize all these things were, like, consistent among cows. Because I was only, like... I never looked at it that way when I was just like covering one or two people. But mm -hmm. the more you get the crossover, the more you realize like shit, they all do the same thing. Yeah, somebody said <laughs> it's this, like out of the handbook. Somebody said it's type B cluster personality, something like that. Something type B. Is that like narcissism? Cluster B type personality. Some yeah, shit. Yeah, cluster B is narcissistic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like yeah, it's like yeah, and they, and they all seem to yeah. There it goes. Joda says cluster B, and they all yeah. kind of have those same uh tendencies it's, it's wild thank you that is and i'm not gonna feel bad for well, shani's back to a low cow but when she had her kids she was a horror cow straight up mm. yeah forgiven my husband you know why jesus told me to forgive forgiveness is a true jesus. marker of being a believer in christ yeah even if you left me you would have to end up i'm sorry me. But exactly if, if jesus told me to forgive if my belief in Jesus or God or whatever got my kids taken from me, got uh, my kids being abused, mm -hmm. I don't think I, and, and, and I keep getting told by Jesus that this is the right thing and worse things keep happening. Get evicted, ain't got a place to stay, I'm broke, uh, all these other things. And I just keep praying and it never happens. I don't know how you can maintain that faith. That's I think that's the wildest well, part to me. You get what I'm saying? There are there are people. How can I say? So I forgot the name of that cop that walked in that man's house and shot him. People, a lot of people went crazy because his little brother forgave the her. Bottom John thing. Yeah. yeah, the little brother forgave the the cop. See, some people they they keep all that hate and resentment in them, and it's not good for you. So some people, sometimes you know, sometimes you can't forgive somebody because it's not even forgiving them; it's you forgiving yourself. For having all that hate but like some people need to can let it go but that doesn't mean that that absolves them of what they've done <laughs> you know what i'm saying and that's right. what she's doing right there is just absolving him of what he's he, yeah yeah and well, her yeah. too her both of them trying to absolve their mm -hmm. their responsibilities to what happened with their son that's not that's not that's not forgiveness you can you can forgive him but like like I, like if someone did that to me and i forgave him yeah but you, i ain't never gonna forget and you can't be around me or my child again you know what i'm saying you know so. yeah yeah no i agree with that and i uh, i agree with that like in the sense of sometimes the forgiveness is just so that you don't hold on to that strife and all the other shit, mm -hmm. which i agree with but if you're well i guess what i'm saying is like if your prayer or your faith in this like entity that you know is you don't know it exists or not but whatever right your faith in it keeps directing you to lose more Mm -hmm. right yeah. and keeps like informing you in a way that is to your detriment why would you keep looking to that for it, guidance i'm not i'm you know and i know it, i you know it's probably just me and you aren't shit, but. me and you aren't christian so we you know we just yeah on the outside looking in but i mean i'm 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 pretty sure um, they're just bastardizing their beliefs to fit yeah, whatever narrative true, they want to say. Because we see that happen a lot of times at the end of the day. Um, you know, yeah, you you got to forgive people. You know, like, you know, like that's what abusers tell. You know, I, I guarantee you, like, Miss Miss Parker had people in her life telling her, that, oh, you got to forgive this person that did these horrible things yeah. to you when you were a child. Like, no, you know, 
That, I mean, it's up to her if she wants to forgive him, but you know, that don't mean that you just we just gonna hang out at a dinner like like no. Oh, right. Know, like, yeah, I guess I, I'm always like, I that always confuses me. I, but Claudio Beachball, um, said there are religious people who think that when bad things happen to them, it's because of persecution. They don't second guess their religion. Okay, yeah, I've heard that too, where they think it's more of a test. Mm -hmm. And if you stand through that test, then you get closer to paradise or whatever at the end. Yeah. You know, it's like, a, whatever. It's, I don't know. You know what is also, also, she ain't got nowhere else to go outside of Jason. Yeah. So she has to know. forgive him. Because that night yeah, when she was upset, she told her how she felt. You took my babies away from me. No, and, and, and it wasn't him, it was you taking them back because g-man would have let you stay at that house but then y'all start getting crazy when once the kids got taken and then started calling them calling in bombs and he thought it was uh i guess he I, I don't know i don't remember what made him snap and talk start going against him but he eventually got tired of this shit so oh well so she she has to forgive him or she won't she'll yeah. be homeless shit yeah. so you just decided to stay with yeah him. yeah that was the big thing you decided to stay with me and they want that yeah breakup stuff. i also want to say like to people because the words i said that were hurtful or mean-spirited i just want to like really say i'm sorry for it um because it's it's inappropriate it's it's not a good way to be um like there was an issue that happened with someone i'm not going to mention the issue but there was an issue a couple weeks ago with someone and you know i i had to let them go um but I was I was kind of excited that maybe I would have a friend, but despite that, they just ended up toxic, and I I really am put in peace and solitude as my main priority in life um, because I need it. Um, but um, you bet it hurt, and I didn't I didn't know how yeah, to move right. on from it at first. But I, what I am patting myself on the back and and my my therapist also did uh was whoa billy you said she means the woman that sent her 1k ah uh, so it's, it's getting profitable again for them to be online this is why mm. we've uh seen we're seeing a return folks we're seeing a return uh, uh oh not reacting to it and holding my tongue uh blossom yes yep they're still up in that place even though i was very upset over it um but i I have learned not to react um, and not to be, I guess you could say vicious when I feel like I'm being put on the defense, but I've also learned not to go on the defense either Later, no, um, no. because it's like, why should I defend myself Later, from people who don't even know me? Like, it's true. Why should I be upset? Well, it's not just that, but the, the accusations pretty much 100% of the time are false. Oh, anyway. oh sorry, yeah, sorry, so. sorry. No, 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 no. That, that, that's the lady. Remember that lady that talked to Drader about giving him money, I think? Maybe they're talking about that. Is that oh, yeah. the lady y'all talking about? I think that's the one. Sorry. That's what she was mentioning, my bad. So why even defend a lie? Exactly. It's like, no, I didn't do that. Uh, it, it's, like, it's, it's, it's usually wrapped up in the truth, though. That's the thing. Yeah. In the clouds. Yeah. Yeah. It usually is. <laughs> and... But, you know, maybe, maybe I have hope that these people can change and heal and not be so reactive and, and hateful. I pray for them that they will. Um, and it, it's the same with people going after Colleen Ballinger, even though I don't like her as a person. I think what she did to Trisha was awful. But I think Colleen Ballinger needs to go to therapy and heal as Nobody well. Nobody cares about what she did to Trisha. They care about how she was uh, uh, being, uh, how she was acting and talking to minors. That's yeah, the problem, exactly. not what she did to another grown woman. Thing. I mean, as somebody said that she did was having like little parties where they would make fun of Trisha. I mean, Trisha mm -hmm. can deal with that. And she's a grown ass like, woman. How she feels about that, but yeah, the problem is sharing those images and all that with minors and how she was treating minors fuck what trisha was feeling yeah. as long as if trisha was of age and that was shit that she had on only fans or whatever then you know she could deal with those emotions on her own but the real issue is how she was interacting with minors people she, love to like you know shani is a weird one bro she is just 
crazy. Um, and the people who are reacting to her and being so vicious toward her, they also need to go to therapy and heal. Are you defending a person that was being inappropriate with minors and showing them a corn? She needs to go to therapy. She yeah, to to yeah. Therapy. No, she needs to go to jail. That's what she needs to go to. There's therapy and to be forgiven by Jesus. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> like the people who react to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's like at this point like, they don't even, that's what's so frustrated about it like no but alright <laughs> well my answer to that is hell no <laughs> to the no 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 hell to, to the, the no, no. no. <laughs> they need to go to therapy and heal because they're not taking care of themselves they're too focused on me mm. and it's weird mm. because I'm definitely not focused on them um, I think I but you talk to you keep talking like half this video has been you talking about people that you don't like like what I'm not focused on them but let me talk about them yeah even that did you hear what uh, they said you know I just don't <laughs> care at this point I'm I'm living my life made a 40 um, minute video I'm, about I'm enjoying it. my <laughs> life and it's 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 solitude it's peaceful oh uh, eli and said jesus said those who harm children would be better thrown into the water with a milestone around their neck so, well, there you go oh shannon. shannon must have missed that uh that part of the Let's probably yeah. skip that chapter you know? <laughs> Ooh, don't say nothing about that in here i don't know what you're talking about <laughs> and um it's way yeah we don't mean that your piece <laughs> is way better than being reactive to people you've never met in your entire life uh or being even even being reactive to people you know it's so much better you know to hold your peace um it, it's like going into the drama and being so so dedicated to the drama is not good for your mentally mental health and i know that for a fact because i was one of those people wrapped up in that shit then you then you come back and do a 41 minute video about probably 34 minute video about drama like um i was the person who who been victimized oh, really bad by by these drama people all right later crash thank you thank hey, you thank crash. you crash i was reading now super chatted five dollars i gotta get back to work thanks for the great content i'll catch the replay all right thank you sir uh, see you later on the next one. Well, because there are a few out there that are crazy, and I think trying to create drama with people and doxing them is very irresponsible because you can get someone killed. You know, luckily, the FBI was... Mm. Huh. Well, who put... Who put... Before she met... Uh, before she met a certain disastrous, disastrous person... She uh was did a whole video talk about um drags docs and stuff. So she doxed him and his and his uh wife, mm -hmm. which led to others finding out certain uh, information about them and posting mm -hmm. them in their discords. Shani, remember that? Remember that, Shani? But guys, Obama. Uh, <laughs> yeah, guys but <laughs> yeah, don't dox people because Obama and Jesus. <laughs> Don't dogs people because of Obama. Yeah. Because huh? of Obama and Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Honoring this guy with Obama, where that Obama order. didn't get killed. She just can't. You have what um, the hell did you know? <laughs> oh, super chat. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Nova, what do you think about Reverend and Shani now subsisting on free end of day pizza from the convenience store? Is that a step up from internet grifting? That's a good question. So the, their convenience store is giving them the leftover pizza uh, to eat. Is that a step really? up from, uh, yeah, he said that. That's what Rev said in his last video in the beginning. He's saying that's what they're subsiding off of. Uh, Billy's asking, do you think that's a, is that a step up from internet grifting or below? As a hustle. Um, wait. <laughs> I would is say it that's a step a... up from internet grifting? Um. <sighs> I mean, no, I don't think so. Cause they're, no, cause they're just giving them food. Like they're gonna a, throw out anyways. Yeah, it's more yeah. like a hustle because not even a hustle. Yeah, I guess I would call it that. Cause like they found a way to get some food, but they're not like promising nothing for that. At least we don't know that. I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe they promise it. <laughs> 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 I'll fuck you. 
<laughs> oh, I didn't say it this time, but still, because I know Red Shaw's watching. But I mean, they're probably some OnlyFans content to yeah. the convenience store clerk or something. I don't know. You can sleep my wife. Just give us all that pizza. They're like, you can have it for free. <laughs> I was just giving it to you, don't worry. Yeah, no, that's no, sir. Believe me, we was already gonna throw it away. Y'all can have it. You want the cheeseburger one? Here you can have it. Yeah, here you go. (laughs) Teddy bear rules. (laughs) But I'm not monitored. Um, and you should be a little bit more responsible for your actions and your words. And personally, I think held accountable for the crimes you've done unto my family. Um, but I do forgive you. Uh, human dog said Obama prophecy from Nova. <laughs> yeah, Nova for the um, win. She's going to speak about <laughs> Obama again. It happened immediately. I hope and pray to God that you'll move on with your life and and you'll you'll learn how to heal so you're not as reactive and hateful. Because I'll, I'll quote Nancy uh, Pelosi, what she said to MAGA, you guys are miserable. <laughs> Is this what you really want in life? Being miserable because you're after the boogeyman? Ugh. Oh, no. Shandy's going to have um, a, a, a dashiki in no time. Right? <laughs> she's going to have a dashiki. You know, talk, talk about how she's a quarter black and shit. Like, I'm gonna black. going to be an on chain. <laughs> right? She's going to have that curly wig on and shit. <laughs> Fight the power. You have, a, you have a black fist on it. Fight the power. I'm black, y'all. Where, I'm black. On the other wrist, you're going to have Africa and shit. Watch. She's going to link up with Nuka Zeus. Watch. I'd rather have my peace. So, anyway, I'm going to get going. I hope you guys are safe and well and beautiful and. and Say just- it loud. You know, feel <laughs> feel better about yourself where you don't think attacking someone will make you feel better because you know I, I I personally think if you're into the drama you're probably really depressed um, and you focus on someone a pariah um, for the mere reason that it, it makes you feel better but pariahs can heal move on and live a productive beautiful life and be good people you know as david Tennant said uh, the tv show people now. have their limits <laughs> we're human um i'm not always strong sometimes i get weak but <laughs> she's, I, head, she's headstrong i apologize tell for him. my weakness <laughs> tell him shannon tell him and, shannon. Um, i'm moving on with my life and i'm healing and i think that's the most important thing right now is to live your life and to heal. Mm, mm. Um, what up, Graveyard So Flowers? heal people. I'll be back when I'm... Wait, Graveyard Flowers, I can't sit here and listen listen while you oppress Shani. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, she did equivocate uh, us watching her stuff and profited off it uh, 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 to slavery. What? Oh, she should just... Well, it's like reparations. Right. <laughs> we just, we've earned it. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. What? Yeah, reparations. <laughs> the slavery. Yeah. She said that before. It's like, this oh, is like I, slavery. I, I I'm like. People think, man, it's so bizarre. Yeah. <laughs> Back. Uh, I'm healing. Jason's healing. The healing. My kids are healing. We're oh, all yeah. healing in this family. I bet you the healing. Not and we're going to continue to heal and be better mm-hmm. than we were. All right. I love you guys. Peace and Maranatha people. Pizza marinara, as a uh, as a uh, toast to say. Well, there you go, guys. That was the new Shanny stuff. She's out here talk talk. I'm not talking about the drama anymore. I'm talking about the drama for thirty minutes, you know. And and Obama <laughs> and Mago. Well, what we do know exactly is that Jesus uh, has compelled her to forgive. Obama, because of Obama, she might also be uh, forgiven. In danger. Oh yeah, oh, sorry. So in danger, she may also be that. in danger because of Obama, right? Because apparently, Dragon, the geek room are stalking uh, her to MAGA, MAGA mm-hmm. <laughs> to mm-hmm. Trump. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> she's also. Uh, also, she's also like Trisha Paytas because Dragon and Geek Room yes, shared yes, her stuff yes. like Chris, uh, like Ballinger did. 
right yeah. barely uh-huh. when they yeah. didn't share anything mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. you know yeah you know <laughs> and it's just um, like a celebrity folks just like a celebrity <laughs> <laughs> Us, me and um, Nova, we're all MAGA now because we're watching her on stream. <laughs> and she's a slave. Apparently. MAGA peons. Yeah. That woman is insane, y'all. But anyways, thank y'all for coming. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank I think you, me and Nova you. might be going live on her channel in a yeah. few hours, around 9, 9.30, something like that. Because uh, yep. we got we to gotta watch, uh, gotta watch a certain... Uh, Two people fighting that's hilarious <laughs> exactly I'm gonna do that so um yep. before you guys leave you know make sure you uh hit that like button uh push that like button before you go you know we're gonna play y'all out uh you know because shani loves black people as you just heard she, mm-hmm. she loves our former president obama we're gonna you know play that song uh I'll see you guys on the next one. Um, I don't know if, when. I'm, I'm definitely going to do another like pop-up live sometime next week. I just don't know when. And I know some of y'all who watch me on Twitch is probably mad at me. It's just This game, I'm trying to finish this Final Fantasy 16 game. It's just, it's really slow in between like the really awesome fights, which I still dig the drama. But like I had, I told Tella Nova, I had this one mission where I'm like getting parts for a ship. I'm like, what is this? is boring, you know? Like, and I don't want to sit there and play that. Like, and I want to pay attention to the story. And then, you know, while the chat is going, you got to talk and all yeah. that. So I can't concentrate on the story while all that nonsense is going on. So uh, uh, I got some other games I'll probably jump on as soon as I knock this one out. So just get, I- I'm definitely going to come on and play the boss fights later. But um, let's let's just get to this next part. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. Catch y'all later. All right. Bye. Bye. Oh, hold on. So no, I don't Damn want to call it in the- Shit. What happened? What happened? Playing what happened? it too fast. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yep. See, I always got somebody in the chat that remind me. You know, I love you guys. Don't forget. Oh, shit. I hit the wrong button. <laughs> Suck a dick. Suck a dick. All right. We're out of here. There you go. Because I'm not a racist, I love black people. Yeah. I'll be fucking racist all day long. Because I'm not a racist, I love black people. Yeah. But it's okay for them to call me a white nigger. Because I'm not a racist, I love black people. Yeah. They, 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 they think what they do, they can get away with because they're black. I love black people. Yeah. Go fuck yourselves, all of you. Because I'm not a racist, I love black people. Yeah. I don't owe you shit, nigger. Yes, you do. I love black people. I love black people. Fucking suck, bitch. I love black people. And they said something they didn't like. It was automatically that fucking nigger. I love black people. Black lives matter. I love black people. Black black lives matter. I love black people. Well, these black lives matter. They did take a kneel peacefully, and you didn't fucking listen to them. Fucking listen to them. Is there lingering racism in me? Maybe.
I'm just reporting facts, folks. That's all I'm doing. I'm like Alex Jones reporting facts. I'm a Niger. I'm a, I'm a Niger. I'm a Niger. Like a major Niger. Like when you accept Jesus, it changes your DNA. I believe that. What the fuck is so interesting about Michelle Obama? And what the fuck did she do in the White House that made her so great anyway? And is it because she's black? Is that the only greatness she has is she's black? And you want to try to be in the cool, I'm not a racist card game? I'm not a racist card game? Holy shit, we came right back to Obama. I just realized that. Oh. Yo, we're thinking the same thing. <laughs> we're right back to Obama. Thing. This is not planned, guys. Back to Obama. Yeah. All things come Holy. back to Obama with Shannon. Jesus. Damn. Leave, leave Michelle Obama alone, Shannon. Damn. Leave her out of this. Jesus. Anyways, later, y'all. Later.